Everybody, Kaiser on the mic today at EVAC at EVAC at Adelaide Uni. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, that's a bit too high up. That's why. Okay. What's up, everybody? It's Kaiser here for EVAC at Adelaide Uni. Friday night SVM tournament. Here we got. Um. Um. We got Nangs. And Black Shadow up to the plate now. I think we might be getting into it like ASAP. 
And some hand warmers first. I'm liking it. Alright everyone, <clears throat> uh, if there's anyone watching right now, please let me know how the audio is, whether or not the microphone or the game volume needs to go up or down, and I'll get that sorted pretty much ASAP. Um, but for now, we've got uh, our first match on stream, we've got Black Shadow versus Nangs. Um, I don't know how many people watched it, but we had the big cheese if you... Ooh, that was a big knee, actually. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many people watched it, but we did have the big cheese uh, over the weekend. Uh, well, not last weekend, but the weekend before. Um, and Black Shadow... I didn't even know where Black Shadow was. Wasn't sure if he was there or... I think he was at Big Cheese, but I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he was. Um, okay, I still need to post the link in the other groups. Um, but I know Nengs did very well for himself. He came top 8 for Melee at the Big Cheese. So hopefully looking to go far in today's local. So how's everyone going? How's the audio? Please let me know if I need to turn the game volume or the microphone volume up or down, and I will do so immediately. Um, yeah. Oh, that made it a bit too loud. Uh, so yeah, please let me know how the audio is. And I'll get this loaded. But man, Black Shadow really let that this uh, stalk escape him. <laughs> he was keeping it really close, keeping it even, and then suddenly... Wah -wah. Uh, it all falls apart for him. And now he's got a... Just a oh, finally finishes with F-Smash, but he's still got a lot of work to do. Uh, Nang's easily favored to win this one right now. He's going very far for himself. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Sounds good? Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, hey Nathan, what's up? What's up, Valor? Alright, so I, I'm just thinking Nang's on that. Um, we're going back to Battlefield for the second game. Getting a neutral start because we didn't get the, the right ports for it. I don't know how many people know this, but depending on which port you plug into, you get a different spawn point, and uh, 1 and 2 aren't exactly even on this stage. Uh, if you're in port 1, you spawn at dead center, right on the bottom, and if you're port 2, you spawn, you start on the very top platform, and so it's a huge advantage for anyone who plays into player 1 when uh, the other person plugs into 2 or 3 or 4. Um, the neutral ports for this stage are actually port 3 and 4. Uh, port 3 spawning on the left platform and port 4 spawning on the right platform. You gotta go get some KFC. Dude, I'm, that's the big mood, bro. But it's Friday night, I'm getting KFC after this, you know it. Alright, so first off going to Black Shadow though. Looking a little better, but uh, obviously there's a bit more to do with the, with uh, Nangs' flub and Black Shadow's success, and here we are on an even game again. <clears throat> okay. Um. 
Sorry? Legit. But still doing both five, right? The semis? Alright. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are we winners, semis? No. Okay, I thought so. So, alright, um, was briefly talking to uh, Flairats about what the tournament's going to look like and whatnot, um, but looks like we're going to get sorted and we're getting best of five for winning semis and losers quarters onwards. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. And the thing about this evac is that we're going to see a lot of these heavy hitters kind of clash uh, pretty early in the record. Like, that's just how the locals be here. Um, this is a two out of three match though, because they're pretty dangerous for both both these young lads and I don't know how many people are feeling that uh, post Big Cheese slump or anything like that I don't know how many people are feeling that but yeah alright Neng's starting to take more of a lead in this game now he's really pulling ahead oh man that Black Shadow with a bit of a look at disbelief at Wow, that F smash really hit Falcon. Falcon sucks. So yeah, Falcon's up B. When he gets close to the stage, he like flips over. Oh, sick air dodge, actually. That was super good. Ah, Rafa, that's it. That's it. That's that. All right, so up next is going to be me versus uh, Flo Flo Rats. up next. So stay tuned. All right, BLB, I'm going to stop playing the video game. All right, well, I'm glad I'm winning against Mark again. That was like a little streak he had, but we're back. I think we got Kai and Jack next. Kai, fairly rusty, but we'll see how he does. But so is Jack, but at least Jack's played. That's pretty... <laughs> Alright. I would. I mean, maybe I should ask someone to commentate with me, but probably I wouldn't imagine Mark would want to huff on after a fresh loss. Maybe that new Luigi player. He's pretty decent, actually. Uh, expect big things from him in the future. But I mean, he did lose to Jack. He took the game off his mark pretty convincingly, but then, you know, Jack just shaked him. Hit him with the needles as he was recovering. Yeah. I'm going to ask anyway. Anyone want to hop on commentary? Ready? Go! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, just climb around the back. Alright, well, good on you for hopping on. Oh shit, wait. Yeah, okay, your mic was just down. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I hop on comms, man? Alright, I'm just making sure you're not <laughs> salty. Why would I be salty? Nah, man. No, you're right, you're right. You're I'm, right. I'm not a salty guy. I am 100% salt free. Okay, well that, that's good to know. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit, I accidentally, anyway. actually hit the clear all button instead of the... Never mind. Rookie mistake. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for years, dude. Yeah, I bet. Um, shit. 
Falca, that's it. I actually haven't really seen this in before. It's she. Yeah, you know, you're right. Alright, there we go. There we go. Wait, are we in winner's bracket? Like, yes. significantly far in the winner's bracket already. Haven't we had like Dude, it's one a or small, two games? It's a small tourney. Yeah, I guess so. uh, Kai had a buy. Jack had it. Jack beat the Luigi dude. Ah, uh, that guy. Yeah, he's actually not bad. Have you played him? Uh, he, he's I think a I fiend. Played Falco he's a fiend. Him, he's a fiend Falco. on that play. Oh, oh, yeah. Really? What's yeah. It? Oh, is that uh, McLeod? Oh, McLeod. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I know him. I played him a few times. Anyway, yeah. he's got a good punishment. Yeah. Nothing about that. Oh, fuck. And but yeah, we got we got Kai and we got Flurry. Yeah, no, it's been a while since I've seen these two play personally. Oh, and, and Jack takes the first stock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think I think this is like literally Kai's first game he's played today. So he's got those. And he's been playing a lot of Ultimate yeah. as well. So. He's playing what? Ultimate. Oh, really? Like Smash Ultimate? Yeah. I bought that actually. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I haven't played a, a lot of it. <laughs> What's the point? Why? The, the greatest Smash game to come out since PM. Uh, and and it, it's it's second best for sure. But you know, melee is. I actually think uh, 64 is second best. Uh, PM. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Man, you just haven't played enough 64. To know how to I haven't played game. enough, but I've played a decent amount, and the combos are real. Man. Like, yeah. You don't even have to try. You can zero to death someone. It's great. <laughs> I, I, I guess if that's your appeal, like, uh, un un like Captain Falcon, yeah, right? undiable yeah. combos, like, sure. Yeah, it means that you have to be so careful in neutral. It's, uh, obviously, I didn't learn anything from the game. Yeah. So neutral is atrocious, but still, good game. Oh, yeah, speaking of 64, Jack won the tournament. I uh, think. The Torrens Arms Yeah, one? He might have lost his OC, I'm not sure. Who did he, he play? Kirby? Uh, he probably played Yoshi. I think Yoshi. Oh. But everyone else played Kirby, dude. Yeah. I actually can't remember what match was like between those two. But anyway, back to this game. And yeah, fucking Jax is doing shit, it, dude. Jack, what like, the fuck? Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> That's uh, the comeback. Definitely not expected. And Kai seems to realize that it's he's like, going to oh, come shit. back and yeah, shoot them lasers. Yeah. It's uh, actually probably going to be pretty effective against Jack because you got to be know, able to be move. Able to deal with lasers. You got to move. move quickly, yeah, right? you got to move in between them and. and uh, Considering Jack plays Sheik nowadays, especially because of his hand injury, he's yeah. uh, playing to his opponent here. He says make him like, not able to execute. Yeah, he says like the wave dash is like what fucks his hands up the most, yeah. and that's why he like plays other characters with, like Marth because he doesn't need to wave dash as much. That's true. I'd say Sheik probably needs to wave dash at least, maybe. No, no. Well, he yeah, usually, he usually doesn't play it because Sheik doesn't have the long dash dance, so you have to wave dash every time you yeah, dash. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah. Shows how much I don't know Sheik. But, uh. I mean. It seems like I sort of got his hands back on the game. Yeah. Uh, okay. Commentators, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, he was up 3 to 1. It was a matter of time. Yeah. And I mean, like, it's a 50 50 on the DI mix up for the. Uh, for F2. the shake combos, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, up to F2. Oh, well, it's game one goes to Jack. Uh, how do we update that? Yeah, I got it. Bang. Good oh, and this shot. is a best of three as well, so. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'll get that back up. Let's see again. Now, I'm feeling that Kai was kind of caught off guard by how rusty his uh, melee skills have been since yeah. Ultimate, so I want to see how he plays this yeah. particular game. I like the pick of Dreamland as well because. I think it's it, it, Well, yeah, yeah. It, the game's probably going to go for a bit longer. It gives him more time to get the, into the hang of it. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, yeah, that was greedy. Just back at that. I mean, I can see why. Like, because he might answer take it, but I don't know if Jack has those. Oh, I very much doubt it. Yeah. I know Davin hits them every time. Yeah. Davin and Jack are two different beasts. Two different beasts. Two different beasts, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. So far, All right. it seems like Jack still can't quite deal with those lasers. He'll find Start a way. a lot more of them, but... He I mean, spam and bounce smash won't do it. Oh, yeah. Get some of the double curve. Yeah. Terrible side B, but he full hops. 
nice spacing, yep. You know, you know Sheik's gonna go for that shield grab yeah, on the ledge. <laughs> oh, he might be dead from that. Nice. Yeah. I was gonna say just grab the ledge, but, you know. F2, it sends far enough away, apparently, exactly. yeah. And, you know, if you're confident enough with the distance, then you can be swag and not grab the ledge, be like, I know you're not gonna make it back. Yeah. Now, oh, I, tech chase. I don't know whether Jack does the, like, reaction tech chases or not. Uh, I think he... I think he's mainly for the... He, like, mixes it in. Okay, so just sort of mix of reads. Yeah, and, uh, well, he, he, he knows he can't do it consistently every time, so... Yeah. But, like, maybe sometimes he'll get it, so he'll, he'll mix it in and then go for, like, a read, maybe. I mean, can't really go wrong once you've got yeah. a uh, space item on the grab and shoot anyway. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really... If he knows he's going to be late, he's not going to overcommit as well. No, that's, which is good. That takes uh, yeah. a reasonable amount of discipline yeah. to, to get yourself out of that autopilot mode of, oh, you know, I'm yeah. a bit late, but I'll go for it anyway. Yeah. Like, he'll wait for your get-up option. Uh, platform's all right. Doesn't get down tooted or anything from it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Not a lot she can do, yeah. Reverse of last game. Nice, nice. Ooh, catches no. it out. Nicely done. He just calls out the angle as yeah. well. Like, if he went straight. And Kai is well known as the uh, best mix up recovery as Falcon. I feel like. Uh, Australia. So. I feel like he doesn't go for side B's enough. You don't reckon? No. But his angles with up B is really good. Mm. Like, oh. oh! And the confidence to go yeah. for the uh, down air, the suicide down air. Yeah, like, um. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. I feel like his fade. I feel like his fades off the up B is really good as well. Yeah. And Falco does have a bit more fade than Fox after the up B. Does he really? Yeah. I thought Fox would have a bit more, but. No, no, no. Falco's got it's that true. better aerial drift. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's true. 1 1. Uh, oh, he's gone back. Dreamland. Is this a salty run back? Well, yeah. I mean... I guess he didn't want Yoshi's or Stadium. I don't see why not Yoshi's. It's, uh, I mean, yeah. It's couldn't get Battlefield. Couldn't go to FOD. This is fun. You just got to play better, really. I'm not so sure on that. I think this stage doesn't really play to Jack's strengths. You reckon he needs more ledges for games and stuff? <laughs> Yeah, at least it, four ledges. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to uh, poker floats. Well, uh, I mean, if you, I mean, if you get hit center stage here, you're not at the ledge, so that's the big thing. Yeah, exactly. So any smaller stage will do Jack uh, a lot better. But I mean, like, like even something Battlefield size, right? Like you saw Game yeah. One. Yeah, Battlefield's Sheik's best stage in my opinion. You reckon? Yeah. I mean, she's not really sport for choice, but... <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. Kind of like Falcon. Well, Falcon, like, Battlefield is excellent for him, but yeah. that's mostly because in every top-tier matchup, all the other stages yeah. are terrible for him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, if he had a choice, he would always go to, like, FD or uh, Dreamland. But, yeah. you know, every other top-tier does much better on the... Yeah, Basically, every other yeah. stage you got Battlefield. So. You take what you can get is Sheik and Falcon for stages. Ooh, messes up the uh, down throw before there. Ooh, too much down Ooh, he yeah. no. Oh, he that. Yeah, he's still dead. Down. He doesn't want. Yeah, if that traded, that would have been good. Yeah, but, but now it's back quite to good. even stocks. This is uh, last game. Also, it's incredibly hard to trade the Sheik up B because if you hit it, you won't get hit by the hitbox. Ah, right. So you can, you can hit the up B and then you'll, you'll like, definitely won't trade. Uh, security. Not safe, Kai. This is not what Kai wants to have happen. I like the DI down though, yeah. so he doesn't get popped up. <laughs> nice read. Yeah, that was excellent. A bit late on the down here. But Kai is he's, he's pulling not it together. Like, F2. Oh. Yeah. That's one more slide. Flowey not. Uh, Flowey's doing all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah! Oh, and Kai's having a bit of a think. Oh, Kai, doesn't have, his, Kai doesn't have his Juju B. <laughs> no, no, nothing. But you know, he, he is kind of turning it up. 
Oh, the needle on the ground just takes that yeah, laser. Easy. <laughs> you don't see that often. Yeah, you can definitely see uh, Kai's playing a lot safer. Nice by Jack. Yeah. And he reacts. Oh, oh a bit late. I went for the dash forward. Oh, I like the mix-up. Yeah, that was... Oh, he catches it. Oh, that, that might be it. And that... That's it, that's, that's it. That's it. Whoa. And Jack takes... Jack, Jack hasn't taken that for a while. 2-1. That's way. Alrighty. Good job, Jack. Yeah. Doing good. Yeah. I wonder if this can be uh, the tournament of upsets. What so, round was that? Uh, I don't know. That semis or... Shouldn't it say in the top of the screen, winner's bracket? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what we want. Yes. It was, yeah, I, I need to check challenge. A what? Challenge. 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 Oh, challenge. Right, Ch challenge. Yeah, ch I thought you were like combining ch chill ch and couch. No. I want a chill couch. You, you so know. You challenge. <laughs> That's a stretch. Hey, hey I'm saying you got a creative what? mind. You got a creative mind. I'm, I'm not gonna put it past you. You're the one who said it. But anyway, what's the next game that we have going? Um, who knows? <laughs> we should know. <laughs> we don't know. That would. We, we don't decide on this. Jack does. He's the TO. and he's the good melee player as well. Apparently. Yeah. Maybe the best one here. Let's see how he goes against Nick. Oh, he's probably playing Davin. Next, uh, oh. or Davin or Nick. Sheik Dittos. I don't think yeah. I've seen a Sheik Ditto in a long time in SA. Yeah. Shadow Realm bracket. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about that? No. What was that? So, Kami made top eight at Big Cheese. Yeah. And, um, and then, but he... It was 1-2. Oh, wait. Oh, two oh, oh sorry. Yeah, 2-0 yeah, 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 two yeah. for us two. I thought you meant We, we can put 2-1 um, to make him feel better <laughs> if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, but um, Kami's flight was booked for 5 o'clock on the Sunday, oh. and he made top 8, so he could... <laughs> oh, I'm up against Nick. Shit. Ooh, all right. I'll, I'll talk about it later. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly cough. So Jack, yeah. how do you feel after coming off of that uh, uh feels after good. that win? Feels good to hit a guy and they stay hit for <laughs> once. <laughs> I that'd be my problem for the last like six months playing melee, is like I'd get the opening and then be like, Oh yeah, I flubbed real bad. That's, yeah. And then, that's oh I've lost thing. the opening. Now yeah. what? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, definitely dead a lot more than I wish I was. Black, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Black mark? Yeah. And it's regular signs. <laughs> So I haven't actually asked you, but how do you reckon Big Cheese went overall from it went a really, tournament perspective? Yeah, it went really well. There was like a few little things that went pretty badly, like Project M started like an hour late, which was kind of, eh, eh. what can you do? Were there many entrants for Project M? Like, I think we got like 13, 14, so it was like enough that it was like, you know, significant. probably should have started it earlier than we did. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't think anyone... You know, it's Project M. A lot of the Project M players are very used to that sort of thing happening. <laughs> like, you That's know, depressing. it's just like... It, it is depressing, but, you know, there's... They got into the it. reality of uh, Project M. I think they may have just, like, gone, oh, yeah, we'll start after the hand warmer. Yeah, so, uh, uh, no, I think maybe they're just BMing each other or something, you know? No, I think I mean, this is yeah, them okay. playing. They hand warmed and... I guess they've realised... I guess. They were like, oh... Samus Marth could never go for seven and a half, but not eight minutes. Yeah, that's unheard of. Well, I guess if Nick's just going to do that to him. Yeah. yeah it's in a way, it's already it's really reasonable. Do you know if uh, Nick has uh, got ultimate? I'm not sure. He wasn't playing it last week when, when everyone, everyone else was. brought 
setups and we had way more than Ah, oh, right. That said, no one had the characters, it's like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> that seems first, like it was the first annoying. day was just kind of like, ah, uh, yeah. Getting a feel for the mechanics more than anything. Yeah. Moving in that game is so weird. It's like, it seems like it's working and then something goes wrong and it all falls apart. I, I feel like for me, it's whenever I try and do a melee specific thing is when it all falls apart. But if you just go with like Smash Fundamentals. Yeah. Then, uh, the other thing that like I've started doing that really helps is just dash cancel everything. Just hit down. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so good. Oh, it really so, is. So like you can't, you can't jump cancel grab. You can't. I think you can boost grab, but it doesn't really help. You can um, just dash cancel grab and get another grab. Yeah. Like you, you can't can. like let go of the button and then grab, even though you're in a neutral state where you can act again, you still get the dash grab. I think um, in initial dash, you can't shield as well. So, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, when I try and like run up shield oh, yeah, yeah. a projectile like in melee, then yeah, yeah, I just get hit. And it feels that so bad. plus the buffer, plus the like delay that Ash has got. got. Yeah. I didn't realize how bad it was until I tried wave landing on platforms, and I was just like, oh, that's a... There is... Um, a oh, shortcut for wave dashing slash... Oh, the, like, Z thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have, you to, do, you have to do that, pretty much. Yeah. The regular wave dash. I'm talking about wave landing on the platforms, where it's like, it seems like it should just be really easy, and, you know, you just time it, and it's just, like, always above it, triangle jumping onto it. I'm like, huh. Yeah, for me, it took a little getting used to, but... Um, I think it can be useful, but no. not nearly as much. Nice. Right. Oh, best of five. Okay, it's news to me. Yeah, I forgot to tell everyone that. So, yeah, so winners semis onwards. Best of five. Uh, well, game one was uh, fairly dominantly in oh, we got Nick's favour, but Nick started to bring it back to the team. So maybe that influenced uh, Nick's Chibukov pick here. Uh, I think it's just because Dreamland. Yeah, that's... And because he knows he can do it. Definitely. I like that from Nangs. Like, he got a big enough hit on Puff. He's like, well, I can get half a charge shot. Yeah, like taking every opportunity that you have, a free, safe time yeah. to build up that charge, because God knows Samus that's needs one of the, Yeah, that's one of the few things that will really just kill Puff. Yeah. And especially on a big stage like this. Yeah, and you it's A, like, have a lot of room. I B, think, need to use it. Yeah, one time. Puff's at about 30%. If you hit the charge shot, you get another charge shot. So. Oh. Well, like, you have enough time, like... <laughs> so... Having one is definitely useful. Yeah, I'm not actually sure how much experience uh, Ruben has in this matchup. I don't know how much experience either of them have. I guess... Uh, yeah, that's that was good tech, nice but that doesn't... Yeah. I mean, Jigglypuff can smash the eye out of uh, Samus' up B. A lot easier, yeah. I think, than any other character. Well, it's more that she's so high up when she does it that it doesn't really matter. And she can do that as well. Yeah. Keep the puffs up. Yeah. I mean, we all laughed at Scar back in the day, but yeah. now we're kind of like, ugh. And, uh, Hungry Box happened. At first it was Mango happened, then yeah. Hungry Box happened. Mango was like, well, he picked up Falco and he's still pretty much the best player in the yeah. world. I don't, I don't actually know why he dropped Puff. Like, I think it was just like, people said he couldn't do it with real characters, so he just developed them to a point where they yeah, were better than the Puff. That actually does sound familiar, and that does and seem like, like a very Mango-esque reason. And he didn't to, really need to use the Puff for anyone other than Armada for so long that it was just like, well, I might as well just play Fox. Yeah. And I'm glad that he has, to be honest. I wouldn't want to see double well oh. to see, like, aggressive Puff in 2018. Yeah, that is like true. going for combos instead of rests. Unless it's like a hard read and then it's fine to rest. For whatever reason. I guess then the question sort of is, would that work in today's meta? Like, some of it would, some of it definitely wouldn't. The combos are like, you can kind of DI out of a lot of the ones he was going for. But I guess he could have changed them. Ooh, that was a really that good was really nice. And Good that's stuff. Enough. Samus. I'll just up B for the extra 6%. <laughs> 3% matters. Yeah, I mean, in this matchup. Yeah. Gotta take the little victories, because God knows you're not gonna get many big ones. Yeah. Like, even if you get a down smash like that, all it does is just. I mean, yeah, you get to charge, you get a charge, 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 charge yeah. up. But if you already have one, then. Ooh, 
that's that was very greedy. I feel like Ruben had to think a little bit there about whether well, yeah, it was a kill he or not. He didn't know whether or not forwards might have killed properly, so it was like, yeah. and like if Nick had held down, if he'd get another charge shot in time. Plus, Nick did, started yeah. arms attacking missed rests at the very least. Uh, yeah. Puff, so he's done that. I can't. What I, the uh, hell was that forward smash? Punch. Well, yeah, it helps the Falcon Punch being like that big delayed. Yeah. You know it's coming All to that move. telegraphing. Oh damn, that's an early KO. A wild Kai has appeared. Ooh. I mean, what, what are we I'm looking down. at here? It's a best of three as well. Uh, what, what's loses round game? two, Kai vs. Davox. Ooh! Wow! wow. This tournament is... <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> We used to have Smash 4 tournaments like this. It was real rough for, like, new players. Because yeah. there'd be, like, ten entrants, and, like, you know, eight of them are on the PR. One of them's me, and, like, <laughs> just because I got to fucking run the thing. And it's like, well, what do you do? I wonder if it's going to be different for uh, Ultimate. Well, we got new people for now, so that'll be the first year and a bit Speaking at the very of, least. Uh, is Smash 4 still going to be played, or we just got no? Really? Do people dislike it that much? Well, it's like Ultimate's out. I think it's one of those things. There's very few people. Okay. okay. Oh wow. It's there's very few people that are like, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing this game. That's like inferior, but very similar. Yeah. So they are. Not, it's not like similar. a shift. Like if they swapped it and it was like melee, then you'd probably get a lot more people going. No, I like the you know slower style of Smash Four or whatever. Mm. But with the way it's just like, it's it mostly feels like it's incorporated melee and elements. But the base is still Smash 4 in oh, the same state. Fox. Oh. The whole menagerie of uh, secondaries coming out from SA Nick. Although this matchup, Ruben has a lot of experience in it, so. Yeah, and he's pretty damn good at it. And his arms can do some dirty, dirty things to Fox. Speaking of yeah, yeah. dirty, dirty things, uh, Fox oh, Spirit 100, same. yeah. <laughs> On a heavy character, why not? Yeah. Ooh, that, that's that's big to have against Samus, the reverse yeah. wave shine out of shield. Like, I do like just the fact that Fox. like I love like Australia's top players where they're like. Nick and Spot, they're just like, oh yeah, I'll just reverse wave shine out of shield for the secondary. Yeah. It's like it's my no third or fourth you know. best character, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you watch American tournaments and Mango doesn't go for that shit. Yeah. It's like Laffin will go for it and everyone's like, whoa, he did a thing. And it's like Spud's doing like, turn it, wave shine someone back and forth across the stage. Like a damn top eight shit. I mean, you could argue that even despite that, the Americans still... Uh, show us what for. Oh, they're definitely better players. It's just like you know. Yeah, it's like that, really like, they weird can... that our like tech skill is that much higher than them in a lot of ways. Maybe that's sort of the compensatory uh, crutch. I think that... I think it's definitely a like you kind of have to practice in your room a little bit more in Australia. Yeah. Just like you can't, you know, we got a eleven man local. Yeah, I mean there's. Like, we're such a big country, so spread out, and our video game scene isn't as nearly yeah. as large as America's. Except for Melbourne. Melbourne's, Ooh. Melbourne has no no excuses. Yeah. They get like 80 people to a fucking monthly. Oh, that this could be a stock. No, he, no, he goes for the there. Randy Nair. Uh, down air. It's actually a... Uh, Closer than I think Nick is comfortable with. I think Nick had thought it would be roughly this close. Like I think he'd think he'd win, but not by a landslide. Yeah. Guess like I don't think he was like, oh yeah, I'll just three stock, you know, with Samus real quick. wins this game, because otherwise it's, uh, yeah, it's he's a loser's, loser's bracket for him. And with the loser's bracket we've got today, you don't want to be there early. No. <laughs> he certainly yeah. can do it. Yeah, obviously, but... Yeah. It's 
like you'd prefer not to have to play like Davos to Pi three rounds earlier than. Oh, I mean, like he can definitely oh, he can take do this, this game. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, this game he's. Like, like you know, Nick makes one small mistake. Oh, 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 oh man, yeah. that was that small mistake, but a little too late Sorry. on the uh, reaction drive. Alright, 3 0. Next way. Yo, Davos, you seen Kai? Uh, you good? You're up, buddy. Uh, Kai's up? Yeah. Might as well. Gotta do him first, because otherwise we're gonna be a. No, uh, otherwise we're going to be like four, like three or four rounds and losers behind, aren't we? All right. So we're going back to two out of threes real quick. <laughs> what? Because this is oh, this round the two. lower. Yeah. Okay. I thought we were just deciding because we no, started no, no, late no. to this go. This is to not a like oh yeah randomly we're just gonna you know this <laughs> one set'll be most legit tournament yeah. in SA history. Bring up the bracket real quick. Oh, yeah. I want to see who I'm right. supposed to be playing. Oh, you play oh I play Caleb. Caleb. Okay. Interesting. Should I go that? Should I go play that now then? Probably. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. want to hold up losers bracket. Like it shouldn't hold it up too much, just because like a few games. Yeah, you should probably play. It. Yeah. All right, I'll go grab him then. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Uh, red. We're going back to losers real quick because this is losers round two. Right, that's cool. Do you know who's here right? Oh, who's who's trying to make his way into the building? Who? A legendary Link Man from the oh, distant past. Damn. <laughs> Probably he, gonna get him to come and come and date. I mean, he was always pretty good at that. He was. Such vocabulary. But I don't know how well he's gonna take these directions. Uh, there's a map. On one of the fucking bits of the Somewhere there is a map to get into this building specifically. I think it's on the evac discord. I don't want to look that up. Yeah, it sounds hard. No, on the um, revival Facebook page as well. There's like a map. To I doubt he has access to that. <laughs> don't down smash, he's always got an arms attack. Oh, there's an arms attack lord, just back air and then down smash. Looks like he can continuously down smash, can't he? That's gonna be super tight, I'm not even sure if you can, to be honest. Okay. So I feel like it's happened to me before, but I'm like... Sometimes when you fall off the ledge, you get hit by another down smash. Oh, that might be what's going on, yeah. That's a down smash. Is you get into the fourth floor via the balcony at the top of the big set of stairs. Is that a good? Yeah. I don't think fourth or fifth matters. I think his big problem is... Oh no, he should be fine getting through. Yeah. And then down to the second floor. The really big stairs. I'll clarify that for him. Yeah. I was looking through my message history with uh, with the legendary special guest today. And my last message was from 2015. 
<laughs> he messaged me like three days ago and he was like, hey man, how you doing? It's crazy. I know. Ooh, that man was crazy. That looks with a mango pressure. What do you have to say about this, Jack? I mean, I don't know why this is a losing round two game. I guess. Like, yeah, surely that was his second seed, and then Kai was third seed, but they both lost. So I guess that's what happens when you play Fox against Catherine. Kai lost. No, I beat Kai, and um, that was lost to. Um, Catherine, because she he went to box. Why didn't he play she? I don't know. Is Musket entering the tournament? Musket is not entering because he only showed up like ten minutes ago. Wow, this tournament's free. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Is it you and Catherine in other? Winner semis, yeah. That's not that free then. That's still you to beat. I mean, a, a worthy adversary. Adversary. I felt like I was playing good for the first time in about six months. So you're a math man now, right? No, I'm playing chick. Oh shit. I was like, my hands hurt playing Martha. I'm like, well, if my hands are gonna hurt anyway, I might as well play my best character. I mean, you're gonna die in the end eventually, so you may as yeah. well just go ham. That looks was like, man, I'm really trying to get good at melee. And then he went Fox against Catherine Lost. I need to play the best character. Oh, my, oh that was a good chain pullback. Same chain. It's not really an insane one, he just kind of did the right thing. Yeah. Basically, like, if you chain in the air, you have to pull it back in. So you always just pull it behind you so it covers shit. Because you don't really oh, have any other options. Kai's gonna lose this game. I don't know how, but it's gonna happen. Oh, he's scared. So look at the way he faded back on those lasers. He doesn't yeah. want anything to do with the laser right now. Oh, he's... How's Dev gonna do it? Oh, that was it. Yeah, I was... Oh, he's just gonna burn. Oh, I can kill my boy. Oh, he's eldering though. Okay. Yeah. Right. I take it back. Kai didn't lose. He in fact, won. Yeah, that's definitely the optimal outcome for Kai. Yeah. Clutch, even. Yeah, maybe. Out right there. Still playing. God, Smash has changed so much since the days of Pugnator. Yeah. It's different now. That is definitely true. Look at all these bros. Look at Bailey. He's yeah. a bro. He's a lad. We've got too many lads here. There's not enough nerds. We definitely... I don't know, there's plenty of nerds upstairs. We got Caleb still. We do definitely have Caleb. Let's see if I can get Tom Shadow's phone number. He, he sounds like he's really lost. By which I mean, he hasn't said anything to me in like five minutes. And he's not in the building. And he's right outside, so... Like, he wouldn't be stuck in the gap between the two buildings, because there's a million fucking people. I think he was trapped there forever. You can get trapped there for a real long time. Like, when they lock the doors, you're kind of stuck between the two. I'm gonna give him a where are you at. That's not Tom Shadowy. That is not Tom Shadowy. That is a similar kind of. That looks like brand new Smash 4 person. Like Smash Ultimate person. He looks lost. Yeah, he looks. He looked kind of like. He's like, just like I was promised Smash Ultimate, and this is all melee. Alright, he's messaging me. It's okay. Alright. Let's this up. I think East. It's Union House East, right? I have no idea. Should be. Yeah. yeah. Tell him if he finds an elevator, he's in the right spot. I think East is the most correct. Two. 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 
Yeah, East is the side of the building. That should be, yeah. Like, I think the ones that, the doors that say East are either, they might also be down the bottom, so. Interesting reverse fare. Kai thought he had something going. Yeah. Oh, he SDI out of the Such commentary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> we actually need Tom Tedowin. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> he we would need add someone. He would for sure. Alright. Damn, Daniel. Kai missing angles. That's a thing. But we go to game three. Probably the last best of three you'll see on stream. Interesting. I wonder what that looks bad. Stadium. Yeah, I guess. I wish Kai had a faster, more t less telegraphed way of grabbing the ledge. Yeah. You could probably do it with one of those. Like, the shine turnaround's alright, but it's a bit kinda... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is going on with Kai? He definitely takes those. He definitely had a stock for the, for the taking. But he did not take it. I love that back air. That's a good back air. That's definitely a good back air. That is a nice back air. It's a bit of a Shrek yeah. reference for you. Shrek known for their nice back airs, obviously. Yes. He's bearing. Yeah, it's real good. Down tilt. Down tilt. What down tilt of kill? Yeah, it's like 120. Yeah, you're right. So you beat Kai? Yeah. Good shit, dude. You're In this matchup and everything. Doesn't bode well. No, not really, but... He nearly got the PPMD combo. Up throw. First hit up air. Too weak nair or something. Oh, okay, yeah. Some stuff. He hit that against Beauty King that time in Big House 3. Man, Big House 3 was a while ago. Big House 3 was the first great Scar and Turf tournament. Yeah, that, that really puts it in perspective. Yeah. Is that their like, first major they got to comp? Like, top 8? Possibly their best. I mean, potentially, yeah. Dude, that was the last time player camps weren't standard. Yeah, because Hungry Bucks is doing the rapping. And yeah. We just <laughs> games. They were just like, what the fuck is going on? Why can't no one see this shit? Dude, Kai's getting him right now. Yeah. And we have player camps. Yeah, exactly. How else are you going to see Kai's chest at? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's probably easier on the computer, actually. Alright, I think he's messaging me now. I can see a dot dot dot. So either he's gone to the elevator or he's lost again. I might have to just go find him. Yeah, you might do. Oh, this is so scary against Devlux. He's good at tech chasing sometimes. Yeah. Except when he misses it. And then it's bad. It, it really feels that way when you miss a what? <laughs> Fucking that. Uh, tech chase. You just like, this technique doesn't seem like it works at all. Yeah. Slam. It's good. Okay, where are the Islamic prayer rooms? <laughs> you see that, Islamic that's, that's on the sixth floor. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was like, that's, so you know the balcony, that's uh, next to Big Cheese? Yeah. That was where it was. Because they were all in there on the Friday. Can you just go down the stairs from there? In theory, yeah. If that's where he is. How he got to like there, I will never know. But damn, this is real close. Who's going to get this shit? 
God, he's hopelessly lost. That, that, that is a lot of loss. Oh, this is hype. Yeah. He... Oh, damn, Daniel. Oh. I picked the needles. He's shielded. He didn't roll. He's going to roll now? He didn't roll. He didn't roll either time. Good, good shit, Dallas. Not that Kai would have covered it. Oh. Not when they're playing like this. Good job oh, bailing that. out of that China shit. No. What are you doing? Oh, he had a jump? Terrible! <laughs> oh, just F throw. Okay, that, that's good. Let's not kill them. We went for double poo. Oh, that's... oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's that's one way. Don't keep saying words like north and west to me, and I'm not <laughs> like. <laughs> What are you, a bloody compass? Yeah. Exactly. All right, I gotta play Catherine, apparently. I don't have my compass on me, Tom. All right. All right, good luck, dude. I'm gonna go find Tom. Yeah. Holy quackamole. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, okay, that was something. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have Winner's Semis on now, and it's going to be Catherine versus uh, Flare Rats. So, probably been mentioned earlier on the stream, but um, uh, Catherine upsetting Davox's Fox, Fox, his Fox secondary, his very firmly secondary Fox. Um, so, Catherine's in winner's semis now, and she could beat Flare Rats and make it to the winner's finals, which is pretty hype, if you ask me, in my onion. Um, but she's got Flare Rats to go through, who beat me in winners, so watch out. And I'm going to be plain chic. Not even. Yeah, there's really no better angle here. I might make it taller. I think we're getting a hand warmer going. Uh, Catherine wanting that clutch. And I'm getting musket on the mic now. Hey, uh, hey, classic bias commentary. Huh? <laughs> classic bias commentary. Let's go, Cav. Let's go, Cav. She wins the season winners final. I know, that's actually so messed up. But I mean, that's yeah. what happens. Ugh. Um. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what's I don't fun. know what's gonna happen here. I haven't seen Jack I haven't seen Jack Streak in ages and yeah. Catherine just I don't know, over the past few months going back to Peach from Falco. The Falco ah, experiment. That's right. The Falco experiment was something, but it was just an experiment. It was yeah, more, more okay. or less. I mean well, I think I think once she realized that she'd have to either put in like a significant amount of time to get a Falco to be faster or mm. just accept, you know her position right now, then yeah. it was like, you know what? Can you go to the settings of this again, Other way, other way, other way. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Cool. Because I just, it's really important to me that the sound effects are much louder than the music. Yeah, definitely. Like you need it. Like I'm okay with the sound effects kind of like being loud on the mic, but I'm not okay with the music being loud on the mic or so, loud on the stream rather. So I didn't particularly like playing this matchup against Jack and Pal and an NTC now. Back in the day. Back in the day. Um, to be honest, I don't think it was like Jack being particularly like crazy the matchup, but more so just me not being confident enough at it. Okay. Know? Right. Um, And the thing is, like, Jack's, I feel like Jack's streak mindset is still very much based on the power mindset. He's not really fishing for grabs or looking for... His neutral game isn't based around how what can I do to lead into a grab. It's yeah. also what can I do to lead into a dash attack warfare. Yeah. Um. Ooh. 
Yeah, you can't be floating at that height. You have to always be worried about the Sheik Bear because it'll catch you. It's very long. It hits very hard. And, um, it's hard. Yeah, the, the Sheik. It hits very hard. Oh, it hits very hard. Yeah, it hits very I thought you said it's very hard. It's I'm very like, hard. Do, do you know the softness of it? Do you, yeah. do you know the. Dude, I didn't who, realize. Who doesn't, who doesn't fantasize about the softness of. Of what? Of Sheik's feet. Anyway, um. Back to the match. Back to the match. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> wow, <dude. laughs> so Catherine's actually going like toe to toe. Yeah, yeah she's keeping it's really it. Good. She, uh, okay, yeah, that's not going to do anything. So yeah, like, her edge guards are definitely the weaker part of her game. Oh yeah, calf edge guard. Calf edge guard. Um, it's just it's just it just runs in the family, and it, always, she you gotta she gotta get trained out of her. The thing is, like when she. Like, nah, it, Peach trusts she could start to edge guard as Peach. Well, no, she could have just grabbed ledge at that point. Yeah, but like, it's like from ledge scary as a piece. Scary, yeah, it's scary. And like, she's just not reacting fast enough with those um, float nairs. Right. If she reacts faster, then she can actually position herself where it hits the reverse nair. Right. Huh? You should. Uh, you can go downstairs and just stand at the door. Like, there's another entrance downstairs. Okay. Alright. Alright, anyway. Uh, so Nick's trying to get his old, old mate, um, Pognitor back into, back into EVAC. And you might get to hear his lovely dulcet tones <laughs> on the mic. Oh man, it's 7pm already. Oh boy. What a what a bracket we got. What a bracket. And this is best of five. We're in winner's semis. We're doing it. We don't we don't care. To report the results of my match versus Davos. Alright, well I'm back from helping Nick out with his entry issue. Tom entry. Chataway's coming. I'm I so know, excited. that's crazy. I'm so excited. That was such a good float now floating out of shield. But then just doesn't have the timing. But then just grab Sheik out of the air smash. Yeah. Grabs the ledge and doesn't fall for the the classic Sheik air dodge on stage. This is that was a really good dash dash, and she got the nice hitbox as well. But then just the bad hitbox in there. Okay, good timing. Still isn't fast enough, but at that percent it doesn't really matter. This is actually that was really good close. Oh, I gotta update that. Uh, this is this is rough because now she's out of that um, CC percent. She has to yeah, you have to be really scared when she's grabbing ledge at that height because. She can just drop drop away fair, she can drop away now. Reverse fair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, she had the read. Like, in that spot, when you down throw a Sheik near the ledge, a lot, or like most characters near the ledge, a lot of them are going to be tempted to tech um, towards stage. Yeah. So she had the read, but instead of doing something like a down smash or a down tilt, she went for like a weird float fair, which is just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking there. But it, you don't really get anything more than... Like, it's not going to combo into anything, like, reliably at that percent. And if you want just, like, pure damage with the, like, possibility of them holding down and getting, you know, taking more, then you go for down smash. If you want to try and combo start something, you go for down tilt. Um, but, you know, at last stock, people, if we all picked the perfect option, we wouldn't be having um, Catherine and Jack in winner semis, would we now? So, true. Okay, just press out that. Oh, he's gonna have to jump. That was yeah. That was a not a bad preemptive dash attack to try and cover the landing. It can be really hard to actually cover the landing of Sheik once she actually lands on fair. So sometimes it feels like you have to do it like preemptively to stuff her out. Ooh, that was yeah. That was a really bad edge guard by Jack because um he wasn't facing towards ledge, so at any point he couldn't just immediately re-grab ledge. Because in that spot where he would have to either do a um, needle turnaround to grab ledge, which obviously takes a bit too much time when he's just right there, so he just kind of falters. But it doesn't matter, he closes out the stock anyway, so... And he just does his chain. Weird flop, but whatever. Uh, I don't I don't agree with that down, that down, that down throw. At that percent, um, forward throw is... Probably the best option, just because it gets Sheik off stage and sets up some sort of edge guard situation. Like, down throw at 70 is like just setting up a tech chase where you have to get a read on their tech option to get maybe a dash tech. 
nice, nice anti-air up air. Um, then really bad up B, but by Jack, but still managed to make it a stage. Anyway. God damn! All right. That's that combo breaker now. Catherine for pretty decent lead. Let's see what she can make of it. Is he going to tech? No, he's okay. He doesn't tech in. He just techs in place, but Catherine reacting decently to it. And then a weird, a weird flop, I guess, by Caff, trying to do fair to combo break, but. Now the big thing is how is she gonna make how's she gonna land in? Okay, goes to the the classic air dodge. Every peach loves to just air dodge on stage because you don't want to grab ledge because your ledge options all suck. Classic. It feels bad. It really does. Especially going back from say I mean like spaces have really good proper ledge dashes and even in proper stuff like Falco can double laser, which yeah. Having going from well for Catherine going from like double lasers with Falco, which at least at her level works on most people, to Peach is a bit of a shock to the system. How's she getting out of this corner? Yeah, this is. Ooh, oh, that was really so. She managed to land in time and then just immediately shield the fair and then act immediately out with float now. Um, but she's still in this corner. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, you can avoid the um, ledge hop there, but then she can just immediately re-grab ledge, and then you're... You still have to try and find a way to make backstage, and if you're not high enough, then it can be really troublesome. So she had a really good down smash, but then she just gives up stage completely, and now she's in the corner, which has been a problem all set. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's... that's yep. The big cheese. I think Catherine looking the back at this cheese. should think about um, what. Wait, is this best of three or best of five? Best of five is semis. Oh, damn, we're doing. Okay. Both five. Oh, yes, yeah, 2 0. Oh. I, need to change my I think Catherine needs to consider why she's getting put in the corner. Because at times. She's had, she has center control, and then she just does some really poor movement option or really poor um, approach to just put her in the corner. Um, she's committed to this VOD pick. And to be fair, it worked pretty well. Um, for the most part, it's just... That last stock was really good by Jack. And... Okay, back throws. Yeah, you can't, like... If you just... If Peach is... Oh, if Sheik is below stage, you have... I mean, you can try doing a dare to try and cover her double jump uh, to re-grab left, but... It's... Yeah, it's kind of awkward, so... Ooh, that kills, damn. That's what this is the world we live in. B, this harsh. timeline B. I know. Oops. Oh yeah, I've been on that. So we're actually going. I can't believe we went back to a uh, fod. Really. Yeah. Sorry about the stream overlay. I had to change my Twitch password. But we're good now. All right. Let's see what edge guys goes for. What's up, Jackson? That's very close to the TV. <laughs> he's yeah. No, he's he's so close. He's uh he's in there. Oh, that's right. Double poof just gets a. Um, I think she could have air dodged him since like she got hit by the first uh, weak bear. I think she could have air dodged him between that first weak bear and the second one. Oh no, the big, the big. He hits, he hits the right DI the first time, but then he does like really poor DI for the second hit, which. Eh, not, can't, can't hit him all the time. Can't hit, yeah, you know. Can't hit him all the time. Um, how's the audio, by the way, stream? Does this, the microphones or the game sound need to go up or down? Let me know. Okay, oh, she's this is kind of a big moment for Kath, because she's got Flowey off stage with a percent deficit, but kind of losing a bit of control now, but good shield grab, keep him honest. No jabbies on the shield for free. I mean, you can ASDI down grab that, or you can just hope that, you can like guess between whether they're going to do jab one or two. Ooh, Catherine definitely doesn't use a double jump, that's good. That's Ooh, a... Flowey's gone. I think she... The wall. I think, um... That upbeat was an upbeat where 
she had at least a few frames of vulnerability before grabbing ledge. I think she probably could have dash attacked to um, come down. Yep. Damn. Ah, uh, weird down smash. She could have just probably grabbed. I guess she was worried about getting spot dodge. I think she felt the timing was like a little bit off and she had time to spot dodge. I don't think um, she did though. Oh, oh this, nah. is a, this is a scary Forest spot. looking really strong. Oh no! Beef it. I think that was the hey, best. Hey, good oh, job. Grab ledge. Nice. Kept clutch. grabbing ledge? Was, oh my god. That was actually a clutch. Mm. Turn it around when Flores basically had that stock. Yeah. And now he's got to work for it again. The thing is like... She has to respect um, Peach's CC sense, but so does Peach. Oh my god! It's so, Kath went for a gra um, shield grab, and then the down smash from Sheik was just like, put her out of range. It was very funny. It's... Oh. Oh, nice wall jumps. The Trixies. See what happens. Where are we going? Hey, you can't come down with that nair against Peach. Oh, that was pretty close. It's looking that's pretty much it, it yep. And that's it. So me and Nang's going to be on next now. All right, this will lose his quarters. All right. Nang's, all right. What's up? It's, it's him. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's him. Good time oh to Good time to commentate with him. Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's us. He's good. Give me a break. I was gonna say wave cancelling. Hey Jack, what is login data was determined invalid, which means you may have to request it again before you can connect to chat or do authorized actions. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fatal. Oh wow, look at this. all this new tech. I know. Remember when it was just like a little headphone splitter thing coming out of the side and a exactly. 3.5 mil jack. Back when we just had a little camcorder and just recorded the room. <laughs> Alright, so for those known to know in chat, this is Tom Chataway, aka Pugnator. He's a legendary Link from the Annals of Time. Uh, the best Link in South Australian history, most likely. <laughs> yeah, the only Link in South Australian history. Potentially. And uh, the first ever tournament I went to in 2014, I went to play PM Doubles with Pugnator. Yeah, at my uh, my request, I believe. We came second <laughs> to Ghostbone and uh, Grim Tuesday. Yeah, and I believe your advice after that was you need to up B more. You did. You should spam it. Yeah, it's so good. You're always more of an intellectual <laughs> kind of player than me. I just played on feel, and I felt you need to up B. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that I mean, obviously that was the objectively the correct choice. It's got a really big sword. I mean, may as well use it. <laughs> it's got a bag full of other things, though. Anyway, so this is going to be Kai versus Ruben. Uh -huh. Ruben may be after your time. I'm not sure. But he's a Samus player. <laughs> uh, we can't actually see what's happening, but I can definitely hear it. Yes. We got Kaiser, who you will remember. A highly technical player and streamer. He does it all. He's a man with a plan. So, what brought you back to the, uh, the EVAC scene oh, for the people? Uh, well, you suggested it, and I thought it was a pretty good idea. That's a really lame story, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, I was playing the new Smash. Right. Smush, I think they're calling it. Schmultimate? Yes, yeah, Schmultimate. And, and I thought, you know what, I want to play this with not CPUs. Uh, then the first person that came to mind was this man here, yeah. SA Nick. Renowned uh, Smash Bros player. <laughs> exactly. He reacted favorably to the idea. 
Yeah. And suggested I come here to reacquaint myself with all the people who are still here. Yeah, because Mark, Black Shadow, you kind of left a void in his HUD when you left. Who? Black, uh, Mark, Black Shadow. Oh, yeah, of course. Mark and I have a uh, unspeakable bond. Exactly. No, neither of us quite understand, but we definitely feel it. Alright, I think there's some kind of like camera command that I should be using. Potentially one, two, three. <laughs> oh, let's just push things at random. Four, five, six. One. Alright, I'm gonna ask Jack. What's up, Jack? Oh, F1. Good. Thank you. So you avoid. Right. Alright, sounds good advice. It's good to be safe. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. That is, that yeah. is always, always correct. F11 is the bad one. I see, so Kai's Falco still rocks the uh, red blazer. Exactly. Were you were you around for the Red Falco saga? The Red Falco saga? I feel like there were several. What's, what's the one you're talking about? The one where uh, Kai and I were competing for the Red Falco. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I basically neither of you backed down, as I recall. You what? Neither of you backed down, as I recall. No, it was a uh, <laughs> pretty bloody comfort. We only tore you back apart at the seams. <laughs> exactly, dude. It's it was pretty bleak time for uh, the old Smash scene. <laughs> Me and SA at that time. That's the thing about South Australia. We've always been very cutthroat. <laughs> we don't have that kind of uh, loving, welcoming, kinship, community type feel. Yeah. It's just, uh, just Everyone's in it for the red blazer. Teeth and nails. Exactly. And beaks. So what do you reckon uh, both of these players could be improving on them? <laughs> what should they be improving upon? Is yeah. Uh, well, what are you noticing about the strategies that they're employing? Literally nothing, Nick. Would, oh. you, would you care to share what you see? No, I've, I've not been paying much attention. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Oh. I think one thing Kai in general might be able to improve on is often he uh, he doesn't pick the right kill move. All right. Hang on. I, I always fail to close out stocks. It's important, you know? Yeah. Melee is just about how many stocks you close out. Exactly. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty fundamental strategy. See the attempted swag from Ruben? He did like a no impact land. <laughs> Usually when you land, Tom, you get impact. And the idea is to get no impact? That's if you get impact, that's bad. That's Why would you want impact? <laughs> Can you imagine jumping from a great height and not getting impact? That'd be pretty sweet. It'd be like a superhero, like Iron Man. <laughs> Samus is a kind of Nintendo Iron Man. In many ways, yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so you thinking of returning to melee or smash ultimate? Uh, I feel like I'll uh, be mostly ultimating, uh, but doubling in the melee if I feel like my self-esteem is getting too high. Right. Yeah. Yeah, melee is good for that. Mm -hmm. Although my self-esteem has been skyrocketing after playing melee, so I think you're probably the exception in that regard. Oh, there's a few. Would you say that your success is owed uh, to, to hard work or, uh, or or sheer unadulterated talent? Probably like 20% hard work, 70% gusto, 10% talent. <laughs> you know, if you play Link, you're gonna have a tough time or something. That's true. Especially in an old game like Melee, before balance was invented. <laughs> before the concept of balance, yeah. Yeah. Kai's really just spacing him out. He's getting upbeat. And Ruben's got that ominous charge shot waiting in the wings. 
He's looking for a down smash into a cheeky read, I would say. But Kai sensibly recovers by intelligently. He's using his head. Yeah, I think Kai is fishing with some things that aren't are just like very safe but not very high reward. Not me. I do actually. So uh what is the what is the average percentage do you think uh Ruben's been getting to before taking the the fatal strike from Oh Kai? what a tech, Kai's crazy. <laughs> I didn't have those in 2015 though. <laughs> I sure did. I sure did sure didn't Nick. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, he's probably done. Oh, boy. And, uh... Ty just about doesn't make the ledge. We've been taking that one. Grim. Oops. Sorry. Grim for Kai, but not for Ruben. So you think Kai was spacing when he should have been... smashing some face? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe... I don't know, because he was hanging out the weak down airs, you know? The weak back airs, sorry. So just, uh, please run into this, you know? <laughs> I love those. Yeah. Especially when they run into it. Often they do. It's like a habit I mostly notice from Kai when it comes to last stop situations. It's very uh, overly safe. Yeah. Look and at this, he's like doing it right now. Ends up getting him killed? Yeah. So uh, how safe is it really? Exactly, because he's unsafe. <laughs> I'm sure there's an analogy with health insurance, but uh, I can't find it right now. Exactly. You spend all your money, and you live in the lowest standard of life, mm -hmm. and then you eventually get sick, and you get covered. But yep. if, you know, maybe if you lived a higher standard of life the whole time, exactly, you wouldn't have needed insurance. Yeah, well, I'm sure we can explain it to Kai that way. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam. Let's stop paying. Exactly. <laughs> Where does the fire come from in Falco's up B, to a lesser extent? Falco's I think he's got, like, jets somewhere. <laughs> Maybe in his boots. Oh, yeah. Because they are, like, metal dudes. That's yeah. a low doubt now. It's, yeah, it's from the future. Imagine that kind of technology is common. Exactly. I'm sure in, you know, 2000, plutonium's as common as... Oh, wait, 1985? I, I forget the reference that I'm trying to make. <laughs> Back to the future? I don't know. Let's just abandon it before we get too far into it. You know, Back to the Future, where he's like, you know, Marty, I'm sure in 1985 they sell plutonium and <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, what age was, was Emmett Brown in that movie? I don't know, somewhere between 60 and 90, I would say. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in there. I think, like, in the 50s he's supposed to be, like, 50, but he looks quite a lot older. Yeah. Yeah, out of there. <laughs> Alright, so what's going on here? We've He's been Can't absolutely down smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this stage is very volatile, Tom. You'll, you'll notice. Because mm. of the small blast zones. It's tight and cozy. It is. And also, these small quarters make it more difficult to avoid Samus and her uh, big moves. Uh, big, fleshy moves. Yes. Forget I said that. Huge. <laughs> so, so, luckily, luckily, that wasn't recorded. Moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. That's, you hate to see, you know, if you're a Kai fan, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Yeah. My glasses are fucking up with tears right now. Yes. But yeah, I don't know, Ruben. So, uh, maybe. Maybe I feel feel happy. If I felt happy for Ruben in an equal amount of I for Kai, I'd be mostly okay. Only one of your lenses would be fucked. Really exactly. I'm <laughs> half fault. Yeah. I tend to go for Kai in this because uh, I like both these players, but I feel like Falco is like higher risk maybe in the matchup. He likes to go for the underdog. So he has to do. Even though like he probably wins the matchup, it's like harder. You know what I mean? He has to work a bit harder. Yeah. And that does lead to uh, those high, high effort scenarios where you can really see that they're putting the effort in. True that, man. <laughs> <laughs> they're both absolutely trying. Now, should Kai punish that hard? 
Who knows, man. So would you say your work as a programmer for the defense industry has helped you appreciate anything more about Smash? Has given you any skills that you could... Uh... I'd say uh, it has given me literally nothing I can work with in the Smash scene. Oh. Uh, nothing I could apply at all. Uh, I mean, on a general level, I suppose uh, it's affected my ability to uh, apply myself and, uh, and problem solve. So maybe that could tacitly improve right. my game. It could, absolutely. I'm just trying to fill out your like melee player resume right now. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's how we actually decide sets now. We don't oh, just really? play, we just exchange resumes. Oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Whatever should win yeah. gets the... It's, tw it's 2018, nearly 2019. That's the way we should be doing things. Exactly, it should be merit-based. It should be saving time. These things can take, you know, up to 10 minutes. Yonks. <laughs> We've got simulations that could do the same thing, basically. Actually, I read a book recently called um, Performance Thinking. Uh, mental skills. Uh, for the uh, high performance road. And uh, there's a lot of sound logic in there. Is that like that a I think. crime thriller? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and you, you, apply, you can apply it to any, any uh, sphere where you need to perform, for example, sport or esport. Right. Uh, and it's actually really good. And uh, that, uh, I think it's at least improved my game in other video yeah. games that I play. So. Uh, maybe that'll help here as well. I think it will. And you know, we're starting off from a fresh uh, slate, you know, yes. with Smash Ultimate. But I'm older, so my hands are probably worse. Yeah, but you're, you're wiser and you're experienced that's in always, melee. That's always a trade-off. All, yeah. all of the games. Did you watch the, uh, the Chess World Cup? Or any of it? I must have missed it. Oh, uh, I forgot to update the number. Names one last game, it's 2 0. It was played over many a game. They played 12 games and they were all draws. And then they played some more, and then the world champion was the world champion again. It sounds like it would either be really tense and interesting or just dull. Was it either of those? Yes. <laughs> Which one? Uh, depends who you are. <laughs> okay. Subjective then. What was it for you? Uh, I thought it was interesting to look at the analysis that happened after the games. Well, in the it was moment. a bit slow to watch live because they played with like a four-hour timer or something. Oh shit! So <laughs> that's for the game, not each move, correct? Correct. I think it's per player. Oh, that recovery was not good enough, but very, very tight. Yeah, he nearly made it back. For an unmake it backable scenario. Mm -hmm. I was going to try. You, you should always. You never know when you're a competitor. Perseverance right. can always pay off. Yep. That takes us for them to make one mistake. Exactly. Ready? Go. Oh. You know what? You know what I found <laughs> improves my game and other games exponentially now. Now that I've actually analyzed myself, is you've not, analyzed yourself. Yeah. Well, part of this book is like an exercise to find out what what your A game is and how you feel when you're in it. Uh, out of about one in my A game, I actually don't think that much. Uh, I just kind of do. Right. Uh, and so when I you're playing your Crusader Dungeons and Dragons character, <laughs> <laughs> you're not trying to think about the ethics of what you're doing. You're just trying to <laughs> heal people and protect. That's right. Yeah, you're doing what you do best in the moment. That's the spirit. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people say that actually. That they just get into like a flow state where they don't think that much. Yeah, well, that's what this book is all about. Is like being able to. Uh, identify what it is and get into it. Um, right. Do you think the book explains it better than like a person could explain it in five minutes? Definitely. So okay. I'm going to stop. All right. But no, I I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you stop. I'm just <laughs> asking whether the book is like, you know, justifies its existence it's, like, in the book. It's not that, it's not a drastically long book. Um, right. The actual like, it's in like three parts and like the third part actually describes the technique. So you could just read that if you wanted, but uh, the, re the, the beginning is like, like psychology, and it's really interesting anyway. Well, that's unfortunate for Kai. He got a bead and just died. Oof. When that happens, you just, you don't feel so good. <laughs> and the instinct might be to uh, try and analyze what happened and think your way out of it, but that doesn't always help you. 
I mean, it doesn't help in the moment. No. And it's not really... Some situations, it's kind of janky, you know? Some yeah. Stuff happens. Yeah. You can't really learn from it. You yeah. just gotta move on. You make a mistake. Why did that happen? Because my hands went to the, wrong, to the wrong place, you know? Pretty much, yeah. It can happen to anyone, even when you're not thinking. Uh-huh. He's living. <laughs> oh, get well absolutely time. shot. He just died. Wow. Right out of his safe back air. Oh, even locks can be picked, Nick. Exactly, <laughs> even the strongest locks. Oh, he's not gonna kill him. Oh no. He tries to be fancy. Oh, oh. This is looking bad. I need to still have this kill quickly, and he knows it, which may be a problem, you know? I think that's gonna, yeah. The more you think about results, the harder it is to perform. Is that from the book? Of course. Yeah. So I've always found those books to be unhelpful. Like the inner game of tennis. I'm like... <laughs> a lot of people love that book. But, um... I don't know. I just feel like it's very, uh, new agey nonsense. That's what I thought this one would be. But it's actually helped me. Like, I have actually improved, so... There is something in it. Yeah. To each their own. Maybe I already have the perfect mentality, you know? <laughs> well, yeah. Um... Some people actually do, and the, uh, the author of this book is a psychologist, and he's and he studied studied these people and asked a bunch of questions, and it really informed their uh, their method. All right, speaking of method, how is Ruben going to get this edge guard? He's not. Oh my! <laughs> yeah. Kai slip sliding all over the place. Have you ever seen a wave dash like that, Tom? Oh, well, not not without water, and there is water here. I don't think the water actually makes a difference. Really? It's a myth. Oh no! It's just a myth. It's all psychosomatic. Exactly. And he's living five. He's got one shot. Bum spaghetti as ever. Oh, he got shot. And uh, Ruben takes it pretty clean. 3 1. Kind of won't be too happy with that. These guys go back and forth, so it's always a bit painful for whoever loses. Yeah. But that's life, man. How long has Ruben uh, win not been on the scene? Uh, probably like since just about when you left. So, uh, for a while, people thought that I could have just changed my appearance and come back as him. Yes. But now we're both here, and that's completely out that's the window. Exactly. That whole theory has been debunked. Wow. That must be disillusioning for certain people. <laughs> the people <laughs> who believe that will be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, sorry. We have a camera. Prism uh, Defense. That's, that's Tom Chatterley. It's tag. Go the other way. And sponsor, Tag's. actually. Uh, they're not. Def they're definitely not sponsoring. Don't don't ask for any money for this for this club. They don't even know I'm here. What happens if you're wearing the Prism Defense shirt and you say something like offensive? I uh, well I'll probably. <laughs> you cover it up. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say something <laughs> offensive now. Can't prove that I'm affiliated now. Exactly. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, I finished work at six, so I wanted to go home and change my shirt, but then. Uh, no, yeah, just, just don't even worry about it, dude. It took three so hours to get into the building because it's a maze right now. Oh, yeah. Thanks to uh, the construction. Yeah, I mean, if you just followed your, uh, your my instructions a little bit better and then texted me when you got to the end of my instructions. Uh, yeah, if your instructions, instructions were a little bit better themselves, we would never have been in the Well, you actually place. got to the right place. I did, actually, yeah. So, and, and then, then I assumed left. it was the wrong place. Because I thought I had explored all the options out on that level. But that's just I disregarded the outside one. Oh shit. Okay. Are we playing? Are we hand warming? Let me just explore the... Okay, I'm gonna put the names in. Catherine. A peach player. I've actually seen... Oops, what have I done? That's bad. Is she on Twitter? Probably not. I think they might be warming up. But I could be wrong. I, I it's just, it's just they traditional... Are. Traditionally, uh, what these players do. Peach Daisy. Alright. And uh, that's game one to Catherine. <laughs> Black Shadow. I like how he's got an auto fill for the Black Shadow and losers, but no one for in winners. <laughs> oh, that's grim. I don't think I have one for losers. I doubt it's been in losers. <laughs> Falcon. 
have been fucking glad. Oh, no. I believe my last game, uh, last time I used to come to EVAC, was Project M against Catherine. Oh, how'd you go? Uh, I lost, and... Uh, you got retired yeah. by Catherine? Well, Ka Catherine was an up-and-comer, and, and clearly she's continued doing good. She has. But I think Black Shadow is a clear favorite here. I think this will be losers... I want to say quarters as well. I think it's quarters. Oh my, she's getting stumped. She's receiving the kicks. Yeah, you don't want to be receiving the kicks. You don't want to be kick yeah, kicking them. Exactly. That's my <laughs> motto. <laughs> That's clearly working for you. Exactly. But now Catherine's giving, giving him the, the slap. And if there's one thing that might be able to contest the kicks, it's the slaps. That's true. The knees are a whole different story. Yeah. Nothing can argue with a knee. Over to you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a funny story about knees, but I'll tell it next time I'm on screen. You can tell it now. No, I, I prefer not. <laughs> why, why would you want to next time? <laughs> because I want to keep the... the uh, <laughs> you want to have content. Keep the audience coming back. <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> die here next time. Uh, all, everyone's unsubscribing. Oh no, Cass yeah. just did a jab and not a grab. But now she's doing a grab and not a jab. What do you think about this combo? It's pretty tight. I like tight. <laughs> oh, I don't like the F throw. What was she thinking? Oh, Catherine's. One thing she is good at is reading rolls. She's not good at edge guarding. Musket's looking lost right now. Yeah, what's he looking for? You remember Musket, correct? I from do, back yes. In the day. Who is he maining at the moment? Uh, Fox. And he was then too? Peach. Back, back he was Peach back in the peach day. Back then. He still has a bit of a Peach for uh, certain characters. So versus Samus, he'll always bust out the Peach. I see. What's up, Jaynuts24? You know, Jaynuts is one of the premier rappers in um, Australian hip hop and also Smash Brothers. Really? Yeah. Does that ever happen on stream? It has. Wow. I don't want to say stream because it was kind of the frame rate was very poor, but the audio was crisp. <laughs> I think you are always better than Jack. Your flow was uh, second to none. Alright, and Black Shadow takes game one with a convincing combo into me. Oh, it's something convinced by? Yes. So I got a new housemate like a week ago. Uh huh. He's, uh, he's interesting. Well, I, I'm still living with Clyde, but uh. What's <laughs> Does that ever change? No, I mean, Clyde's like... been a, a constant dude. Clyde's, <laughs> Clyde's around. I mean, they're like. Clyde's does, loyal. Does. does <laughs> uh, does living, like the feeling of living with, with, with Clyde, is the, that dynamic ever change or is it just. Yeah, the same you can as it tell. Was? Sometimes he gets kind of like quieter and a bit down on himself, you know. Quite he would, down he wouldn't, on want, he wouldn't want to hear that because he's a very brash individual. He is. I can't imagine him down on himself. Oh, there. Does it, does it, well, like, you come home from work and uh, he's just looking grim? Not grim, just. Sometimes he's more exuberant, I would say. Oh man, Black Shadow is trying to move. <laughs> having difficulties. Um, no, he was having no difficulties. But it, the moving wasn't, you know... It, it didn't achieve the desired outcome. Uh. I am not going to the December round back, J that j -Nuts. I didn't know about it until relatively recently. And I figured, why bother? I've already proven I'm the best at Big Cheese, so I don't need to prove myself ever again. <laughs> so you're gonna just retire now? Then? I think so. <laughs> when I beat Spud. Before anyone can prove you wrong, yeah. That's good. Yeah. good. See Spud beat some good American players? Oh, you wouldn't have been around for Spud. No. Did he join the scene after left and then left himself? No, he's, he's uh. 
Western Australian player. He's currently number one in Australia. Uh. Undisputed. People can, you know, there's often like a, a tiny amount of doubt for who's number two or number three or number four. Because, you know, results between me and Sora and like people below that can be variable. Like Sora lost to RJ at BAM. There are, there's variance. I lost to MC. But Spike just beats everyone, so. <laughs> Sounds like he's cheating. Yeah. What's up, Brad? <laughs> How you doing, man? And we've got Catherine keeping it close once again, but Black Shadows punishes if he's been a bit too strong, and uh, Cat hasn't been closing out stops. Although, it's a very dangerous position for Black Shadow, and he doesn't make the recovery. That's good to hear, Brad. I'm glad that you're not too bad. If you were too bad, that would be rough. That really put a dampener on the stream. Exactly. It's, no, you should keep that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cast the up air, but bit too late, and Monk gets the crash cancel. Oh, oh! I think he's gonna win. <laughs> What's he doing there? What's he trying to knee? He's kneeing up an absolute storm off stage. He's a good for faces, but not so much for getting yourself back on the stage. Exactly. Ready? Go! Apologize if I stink, by the way. It's because I went up and down the stairs like 50 million times before I found my way into the, in the building. That's nah, alright. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, only, it. it's only partially <laughs> nauseating. <laughs> yeah, for, the, for those of you watching at home, we can only describe the smells that we're experiencing. It's actually... Uh, okay, Brad. Cool, man. But uh, we were having a good time before you said that. <laughs> now, you know what is the worst? I would never have noticed until you pointed it out. Tom. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. In attempting to be self-deprecating, you've actually... Made your life worse. Yeah, and also you've just brought shame onto yourself. <laughs> I mean, that was that's what the de self-deprecation was supposed to accomplish. I thought self-deprecation was like a shield against other people's insults. There are a lot of... Yeah, but you, you, no, one can oh, hurt you, no one can hurt you worse than you can hurt yourself. What is Mark doing? He just went over there and killed himself. He said, you know what? I'm going to need the blast zone. Has anyone ever defeated the blast zone with a knee or other... Implement? No, no one's ever defeated the blast zone. Never in, in Smash Melee. Yeah, they're unbeatable. Oh, get absolutely de-smashed. And dash attack. Those are two big moves. <laughs> You'll know. Catherine's making a run today. She's going to get third in this tournament, maybe. If she beats Mark. Or she might get first. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> absolutely getting shredded with these full ups. Catherine is on point right now. This kind of looks like... I mean, Catherine is prone to upsetting people. She very nearly beat Zai at uh, the Big Cheese, if you remember, chat. What, what even happened there? Why? Where was the second upset? See, I said that Catherine three stocks Mark in friendlies once upon a time. I didn't expect it to happen in tournament. <laughs> but then again, Mark is way worse in tournament, so who knows? Who knows, man? I don't. Do you? No, I don't. You have no idea. No, I don't know. What does what does Brad think? Brad what Shadow? does Brad think? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, seems like particularly good at missing the stage. That's uh, it's good. Over to you, Tom. What do you think about that? Oh, I mean, it's demonstrably true. It is. He's really good at it. Something he's been proving on for a while. And it's finally coming into his own. That's the spirit, Brad. Me too, man. You've come to the right place. It's such a weird tournament. Like, Florats is in winners' finals, I'm pretty sure. And he's been on a hiatus if you are out of the loop. Because back when you played, he was one of the top players, obviously. And then he left for a while. He didn't leave, he just had. He's always been the TO. Huh. He's but uh, his hand was a bit. Funky, you know? There's a funky hand. The funky, I have no idea what that means. He played too much Metroid Prime. And uh, as you weird thing that happened to As you know, that can cause issues. 
Yes. So, what, RSI? What, Cobble Tunnel? Just, I... Whatever you normally get from Metroid Prime and then moving pianos. Specifically Metroid Prime? Kathy's an epic player, but she's dead. Oh, she's alive. <laughs> she's got it near. That's how quickly things can change in Metroid. Exactly. <laughs> Metroid Prime is just... It's like, uh, it's like crack cocaine. It's just so addictive that you end up uh, disregarding your own health and safety. I don't see how you can hurt yourself with it, though. What, what do you I mean? I played, it, I played it again not too long ago, and the, the controls are not particularly demanding. No, but you're holding L the whole time, I believe, is the... Uh, oh! You just get that claw hand. You know that episode of Friends where Chandler gets the uh, the arcade game machine? Oh, yeah. And he sets all the high scores, there's like poo and us. <laughs> and then there's a kid coming around, so he has to reset the high scores. But he's got a claw hand. <laughs> That's what happened. Right. Shout out to Greg Lion 20 in the chat. Who else do you remember, Tom? Do you remember Scraddles? Uh, remember the name, but I don't remember the person. Right. The human behind you the Remember name. my old housemate, Liam? Yeah. Didn't he play like once or twice with us? Yeah, he still, he still uh, plays for my indoor team. Oh, indoor soccer, yeah. Uh, I tried that. Did, uh, not, did not go well. Oh, did really? not go well, Nick. What do you mean? What happened? Uh, so, um, I don't know really how to get involved in the scene of indoor, but I wanted to play a sport. Uh, so uh, it's, it's best if you have a group of friends. Yeah, I did not. lined up. I did not. I uh, received a text saying, "Come and play soccer." This have time. you seen Peep Show? <laughs> yeah. You know that scene where Mark is like playing soccer with the people. And he's <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that's what I imagined you do has been like. <laughs> Thing is, okay, a little bit of a preamble. Uh, I hadn't done any physical activity for some months. Uh, and my muscles, I had to the last time, had deteriorated significantly. Uh, to the point where how I thought they could move was out of sync with what they could do. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the very. F <laughs> your eyes were bigger than your stomach. Yeah, so pretty much. Movement. So I started playing. Uh, this big Scottish guy, who was like leader of my team, uh, passed me the ball, but like, well in front of me. I, r I sprinted for it and I immediately. fell on your face. Yeah, well. <laughs> against. Well, fell on my face against the wall. <laughs> like, I hit the ground, rolled, and everyone's like, shit, are you okay? And I'm like, yes, and then I looked down, like, no, I look blood everywhere. <laughs> uh, so then I immediately went off with the blood rule, and um, haven't played since. So uh, that's my relationship. All right, I think you want to start with a pretty low division with, like, a team of friends, maybe like, an easygoing... Because, like, playing with strangers, you always feel pressure to kind of overextend. Yeah, they, they were all sweating as well. Yeah. I played on Thursday against one of the Smash 4 guys, and he's just, like... Soccer guy, you know. Yeah. We lost seven six, and he told Ruben about it today. <laughs> That's so dumb. I like carried my team so hard, and we still lost. Yeah, it's happened. Scored though. three goals, made three assists, and we lost seven six. Yeah, you can't. You can only control what you do yourself. You can't, yeah. you can't control the other players. I feel like Smash in Australia was a smaller world when you were part of it, because now we know all the interstaters really well. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely felt like it was just like was the five people in the room at any given time. Yeah, it was an insular kind of scene. But now... It took me uh, leaving to really bring everyone together because everyone was so sad. Kind of. That's, yeah, that's pretty what much what happened, so we don't need to discuss it any further. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cat's Edgeguards. Oh, whiff, whiff in the butt. If Cat's Edgeguards were good, she would be the best. She'd be unbeatable. Maybe they'll get you. Actually, I was nearly late to this tournament because I was watching the stream they're talking about in chat. <laughs> One of our Australian brethren and uh, international melee personalities, Don B, was shaving someone else's head. Right. And I was just watching the stream. But, uh, was that a fascinating time to watch? He wasn't really shaving it. He was trying to do a real haircut, but he was like shaving the sides kind of thing, like a fade. Ah. It's familiar, which you are. Yes. I can see by your... I have uh, one right now. Yeah. What are you doing, Mark? Mark's a crazy man. Perhaps it is not intentional. No, I think it is. I think he's trying to swag out. He's trying to ball out. Ball he's trying to swag out with his baggage out. <laughs> oh, and this dash attack is good. It's good. Oh, it's tight. Mark's, Mark's getting nervous. His palms... I, 
can't speak for how his palms are. They might be sweaty. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we don't have uh, visual now in the camera. Exactly. Can we get a palm cam? Can we get a heart rate monitor? <laughs> we'll switch to camera, camera 3, please. Alright, so Cass not having much luck DIing out of that for much of the tournament. I think I've got to play now. I might get Muck to come on with you. Or you can leave if you want. Either way. Uh, I'll get Muck. Well, we need, you want, I want we'll at least need, some, one we'll other person. We'll need someone. I'll get Muck. I'm not. I'm definitely not qualified to handle this by myself. <clears throat> hey, Muck. Hey, Tom. So uh, how, do you, how do you feel coming out of that victory? Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it was really close. No one ever says bad. No. Uh, maybe. Maybe if they only got the victory because someone SD'd or something like that. Yeah, that would be pretty so, bad. Actually, that has you happened know, to me before. Me it's like, feels bad, man. Mm -hmm. oh, now we got Nick and Jack, which uh, I don't think you can hear at the time, but Jack managed to beat Kai in winners. Oh. And I don't remember the last time that's happened. Um, especially not since Jack hurt his hand. Oh, with Metro Prime? <laughs> or was that, <laughs> that someone else? Uh, Everyone's hurting their hands. In this, uh, I don't know this, uh, if that scene. was uh, Metro Prime that did it, but uh, no, I think this was like a year or so ago, Jack injured his hand and he couldn't play any fast characters in Melee because he was packed up and but now he has a bionic hand. Yes, yes, that definitely happened. And now he's playing. Wait, he's playing Sheik. He's playing Sheik. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, see, Nick. His course is Mark. Yeah. Although nowadays That'd be Nick plays every character of the, the sun. Imagine he got bored. There are, there's not a huge roster in Melee compared to, compared to the other Smash games. Yeah, every game since Melee has only yeah. gotten bigger. Actually, every game since 64 has only gotten bigger. What? Ultimate is like 65 or something? It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there's also uh, DLC characters. Yeah. In the pipe. So they're warming up now. Mm -hmm. I think they're ready, man. Yeah. Ready yeah. to get it on. In the customi yeah. customary SD of all your stops as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And whoever wins here. It's actually the other person who wins the match. Right, because there's a psychological advantage to like, get your SDs off first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's good. Get them out of your system. So they, uh, the little victory dance is actually a dance of shame. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And here they go. First game of... I don't think this is loser's quarters. I'm not actually sure. Winners. Centers. We win at something. Yeah. We win at five. Oh, that was a sick side B turnaround down here. I have not seen Nick play Mark in a long time. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know if you know that we're using NTSC now. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, basically, pretty much everyone, like the European region and um, Australia especially, switched over to NTSC for tournaments. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, that down air combo was true. Oh, does that mean that Link has a semi spike or does that be now? Uh, is that, oh, sorry, say that again. Does he have a up, uh, semi spike on his up B spin attack? Ah, oh, um, I thought he did. I, he has one on his side B where you side B like twice and then the third one you do it down. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm talking about um, uh, Link. Oh, Link. Yeah. I didn't actually you say, didn't that. say that. Uh, yeah. I thought you were supposed to be able to read my mind. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry. I should have. I should have. Uh, yeah. Bad. Um, I think that'll be semi spike. Oh, yes, so yes, it does. Yeah. It does. Uh, it's really annoying to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Played some links on a net play. And yeah, ultimate edge guard tool. So, uh, yeah, if you uh, come back to melee, bust out that link, then. I'd like to, but I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with Link. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to what, sir? I'm not going to get anywhere with Link. Oh, that's the truth. <laughs> If At I least one if I'm fifth time link in America, <laughs> in the world, yeah, and I imagine that they are amazing. Uh, yeah, they actually yeah. really good. It's uh, quite fun watching them play. Way harder to be good as a link. Yeah, it's like for every mistake your opponent makes, every like five they make, you get a punish. Yeah, but you make one mistake and you lose a stock. Lose five stocks. <laughs> and a four stock game is unfair. An extra, an extra stock <laughs> in a four stock yeah. game. Yeah, you carry that into the uh, into the losers <laughs> bracket. <laughs> you start with three in the next game. You can see yeah. that as a psychological <laughs> side effect. <laughs> right. All right. So uh, 
uh, this may be hard to remember, but has any aspect of Nick's game changed since I was... I mean, obviously, like, he's improving all the time, but... Yeah. I think drastic. Um, I wouldn't say drastic. Right? He's always had his basic game plans down in any given matchup with Mark. It's mostly the small micro stuff that I think he's really refined since you've last played him. And also macro stuff. Uh, but fine tuning. Yeah. It's all fine tuning the higher up you get as a player. Um, it's where the small differences make the biggest differences. Right, yeah. Um, you don't get to the top without mining out the big differences. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Stay in the bottom of the barrel. Yep. That's where I personally feel like I'm sort of, as a player, I'm like not quite in a good player bracket yet. Still got to iron yeah, out. Yeah, you're the right, stuff, right on the edge of the S tier. Yeah. But, uh, uh, it's it's going to be like those really fine micro changes that will get you in there. Mm, pretty much. Um, but Nick seems to be running away with this one. Um, in the beginning, he was sort of fumbling a bit, but so he's got his footing. Um, looking pretty bad for Florides, even just from this stock. There's an ex explicable elegance to the way Nick controls a character, isn't there? A, uh, you say extravagance? <laughs> elegance. Elegance, yeah. Yes. Oh, I think that's true of even just Mark as a character. Mm. When you play him <laughs> even well, when you play him poorly, he looks, he looks pretty <laughs> alright. Thanks. Sometimes you just spam that forward smash. Yeah. Kudos to the animators in that. Yeah. Cool. But uh, <laughs> this game goes to SA Nick. And he looks over the TV at the commentators, yep. probably expecting a standing ovation. Yeah, or at least a cheeky wink. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I wait, don't can know. they hear us? <laughs> oh wait, I just realised the. Uh, I'm gonna update all of yeah, the I'm things. Yeah, update all the things. So all it's right. definitely winners something. Winners semis. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put winners something. Are you in the uh, right box there? Two, two, what are you typing? It's gonna up yeah. update the uh, oh, player name. names. Okay. So we right, while, you, while you do that, uh, you know, watch what's happening and enjoy it. Yeah. And I'm just going to call it winner's quarters because I don't actually know. Uh, winner's quarters not being in the room. No. Oh. Equal stocks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't Black Shadow. Hey, Blackheart842, this is Black Shadow speaking, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why he has anything to doubt, but... Anyway, back to the game. Part of the deal, Black Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a quote from something. It is, it's a Simpsons quote. Oh, yeah. yeah Blackheart, yeah. the ivory dealer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this game's actually looking a bit closer. Uh, I used to always think that the king day to day in the background was a planet. <laughs> Well, no, I don't, I don't blame you for thinking that. Zoom in. It has. <laughs> That's a duck man. You know, it's possible for two DDDs to appear in the background. But we it's call like a, a happy day. Yeah, but it's really, really rare. Um, so, it's such a weird detail. Like, What's weird? I, that would be two, but rarely. Like, yeah, two. I think it's a programming mistake, I imagine. Because <laughs> I can't imagine why else you'd put it there. But Sakurai <laughs> does Sakurai things. Let's run and see if anyone notice. Okay, so back to the match. Yeah. It's looking pretty grim for Jack based on how Nick's playing at least. It seems like he can't really get anything started. A bit slow in his movement as well. Is Nick looking for kills at this point? Kill moves? Uh, that's not really a Marth plays, is it? It's more of the... Uh... Yeah, like, Marth really mostly looks for either a combo into a kill, like forward smash, yeah. B, or just a quick gimp off the yeah, uh, stage. Right. And against Sheik, you kind of reach a percent where she stops getting comboed, um, or at least, like, kill confirm comboed, and then you just got to do the long edge guarding game. Oh, oh wow. DI. That definitely wouldn't have killed with a little bit of right stick action. Like the DI. Yeah. 
That, you know, oh, happens to the best. How high is the ceiling on Dreamland? It's pretty high. Isn't? It's at least Dreamland like high. Oh, <laughs> that was sick. Oh, oh, what a, yeah, what shout a, outs to yeah, SA Nick. Not bad at all. I didn't even think I think that he did that on purpose. Yeah. As well. I think, again, he wants recognition from the commentator desk. All right. To hear our voices cheer his name. <laughs> uh, so, Nick. So, Jaynox is asking, what character did Davin play today? Uh, Davin? I think he played Fox against Catherine and Sheik against some other people, but I wasn't watching it uh, throughout. No, I don't think it's good. It's 2 0. Uh, SA next one. Okay, yep. And that's next, uh, next the perfect way to the lose. Fox. Yeah, that's. Uh, I thought it was uh, getting too easy. So, uh, maybe it's because uh, he knew up. that uh, we'd go back to Dreamland. Oh, uh, yeah. That could be it, because this is Fox's uh, favorite stage most of the time. Fox's favorite place to play. Yeah. Where do you think Fox bought his little jacket from? Um, hot Topic. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely a Hot Topic. <laughs> it's the only clothing store I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I look like a man who goes out regularly shopping at all these fashionable places? Yeah, you've got a jeans on. No. Oh, to be fair, I had to get those for work. <laughs> Either way. I'm currently wearing uh, Kevlar jeans with armor Kevlar. in these. Uh, they look like I'm terrified of being shot, even though I don't live in America. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's because I ride a motorcycle. So, uh, uh, oh, do you? Yeah. You just casually <laughs> drop that you uh, ride a motorbike. <laughs> just it in. And I wear glasses that don't go with them at all. <laughs> yeah, Nick was Nick was excited to hear that. He's like, he, I think it was, it was what, this, you're like a cool dad. Yeah. Just without the kids. That's actually yeah. exactly <laughs> it. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Now you just gotta give us some dad jokes and. Got oh man, I was, I was making dad jokes before I was uh, a motorcyclist. A motorcyclist, almost like a dad. Uh, so this one actually has gone much quicker than the other two. I think by nature of the characters, but Nick is still holding a lead, but not nearly as large as the other games. But this is uh, Jack's last yeah. Oh, nearly. No Sakurai combo. <laughs> and that's it. 3 0. And so next one helped. Uh, so, Extreme, I don't know if that was winner's quarters or not, but it was winner's something. Was that winner's quarters? Winner's finals. Oh, okay. Uh, right. So, I'm just going to. We should have been way that. more hyped about what had just happened. All right. Well, Nick, I got Nick it right. didn't even seem to care what was finals. happening the whole time. That down air was sick, by the way, in game two. I. <laughs> All right, I think I've got... You got a game now? Uh, do I have a game? Imagine. Oh, do I play Reuben? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah. So I've got to put in his Twitter handle there, right? Black Shadow 20 gx Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Because he's a... Uh, Member of the 20GX movement, which you'll know is a uh, Captain Falcon collective. Is it really? I did not know about tech chasing optimally. Ah. Oh. Uh, we got Nangs. Well, Mark loses the uh, the rock throw. I don't know what Nangs is. It dice Nangs or yeah, it is. All right. And we got Samus. 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 And he's in the dice crew. The dice crew is uh, famed for pioneering the game Dice, where you, you say dice, and then you say an action, and then everyone picks a number, and then the person who gets the number has to do the action. And it's usually like a, a bit of an embarrassing or like extreme action you have to do. Like, dice. Go and tell Davos uh, you hate him. Uh -huh. And then you say one. And then if you get one, you're like, oh no, not to do it. <laughs> but the real loser here is Davos. <laughs> well, he's not even playing the game. Exactly. Poor little fella. 
<laughs> are, we, are we warming up at this point? I hope. Yeah, they're absolutely getting warm. I bet Ruben wasn't quite finished warming up. I shouldn't. I mean, Davox already came like seventh for this tournament. It wouldn't be fair to just Rub it in that tell way. him that you hate him as well, yeah. even if it was a dice game. Yeah, well, you ever have uh, off-limits off dice parameters? I love yeah. it. Don't, don't do anything to Davos. I once did a dice game that was a uh, shave of slit into my eyebrow, and I lost. Even well, though I, I picked six, the, the statistically lowest likelihood number, number six, I somehow got it. And, uh, <laughs> the lowest likelihood, no one rolls the six. <laughs> Nobody ever rolls six. Six is rare. Okay, so it's not a single six out of die, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Apparently, I don't understand probability. Uh, oh, I want to look really good. You want to look like, you know, someone who hit you with a sword a while back and it healed over. Exactly. I think I had a badass scar. But, um, it took a, a surprisingly long time to grow back. <laughs> yeah, There's often people who, like, blow their eyebrows off in science class. They just have to wait for months and months and months. <laughs> Yeah, or like on a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is too much of it. Oh, this is lame. That was lame. <laughs> oh, this is loser's semis, because Jack is in loser's finals, because they just beat him for winner's finals. Okay, guys. We're getting there. Does that not work? I imagine it does work, but I don't know why it would have gone for it if it didn't. Because Ruben's the kind of guy who wants to do options at work, you know? I feel like I, most people want to do that, but is that not the case? Is that in the book, Tom? Is it, <laughs> that's do, in the book. That's, page, that's page one. Page make one, sure rule one. Make sure it's going to work. Yeah. Go for options that you know can work, at least. Yes. <laughs> that's actually rule number one of Melee. Yes. Always cover something. That's my rule number one. Oh, get need. Get absolutely double jump red. And Ruben's kind of making a meal of these edge guard situations. I think he really respects Mark's ability to attack the ledge. So. Yeah, like, uh, what's he doing? Come on, Ruben. Get your life together, mate. <laughs> oh, oh, Ruben. That's gotta hurt. Had everyone except Capitari. What character should I play in Grand Finals? I kind of want to go to uh, set two. Are you comfortable with everyone at this point? Not really. What are you going to suggest? Uh, I'm to play Mario. You want to play Mario? Yeah, I'll see if I can beat Black Shadow with Mario or Ruben. If it's Ruben, I can't beat him with Mario. Uh, what, what's the uh, what's the motive behind that? Do you think it'll be fine? I just want to. I kind of want to go to a set two, so I kind of want to lose that one. But uh, if okay. I win with Mario, it would be funny. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what. We're Although I do have ELO to protect, because uh, apparently our sets are being uploaded for ELO. Or they, all I know is I'm number one on the Australian ELO at the moment. So and you're hoping that'll stay the stay the Exactly. Way. This is just after the big cheese. I'm not sure whether our locals get uploaded for that purpose. I don't have a Doc Janus, but I do have a Mario. Game one with the loops. I really think, thinking back to my set with Florets, he just did really bad dash attacks. You know what I mean? He was just like, Nick's over there. Really? Hit him. <laughs> get him. Yeah, he just tried to get he'll, me. He won't see it coming. It'll take me a second to get there. But it's a very like basic, very slow set where it's, it's just like, oh, he's going to dash attack me. And then he did. And then he dash <laughs> Maybe you thought eventually that uh, you wouldn't read it. Like, you wouldn't do it five times in a row. I didn't read it sometimes. <laughs> didn't I? Oh, he, no, up there. He could have up it to me there. He could have killed him. If you can have a kill and you don't get the kill, then. Yeah, well, he chose you not to. Kill. He cho yeah, well, <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He had Ruben in the air with no jump. That's prime up air. Tasty up air material. 
juicy up end of area. I've done it yet, so I'm actually every every mention of anything to do with food. succulent up air. Oh please, <laughs> oh tender. It's not even on the menu for me, so I can't. How are you getting down throw knee to Samus? It should never happen. I don't think. It never works when I try it. Is that because your opponent is DI'ing correctly? Maybe. You know about that? You know about DI? You <laughs> DI'd before Tom? I do have. I, yes, I've occasionally dabbled in the DI. Every time I get launched. Yeah. As you're being launched. Yes. Even when you're being like just tipped, just being hit slightly, you still want to DI. After me, like I don't really understand how it works. Like, you can use the C stick for it as well. Or is that kind of thing? Yeah, but it's different. That's it's the whole kind thing. of DI. That's uh, automatic smash DI. Okay. Which uh, so smash DI. So whatever direction you're holding when you get hit, you'll get one automatic smash DI in that direction. Okay. But if you hold the C-Stick in another direction, the C-Stick will override the control stick for Smash DI. So you get one smash, automatic Smash DI in the direction your C-Stick is being held, but you'll get your trajectory DI in the direction your control stick was held. Right, okay. So say you wanted to survive a tiny bit longer, you could automatic Smash DI in, but then regular DI up and in. Ah, okay, yeah. So you'd go inwards and then you'd get your best possible trajectory DI yeah. up yeah, and in. Yeah, to go back up and in. There's a lot of niche situations where it's more impactful than that. But they're more difficult to explain. Like when you're on the platform... In a breezy, breezy way in a stream. When you're on the platform, you can, uh, you can like, kind of slide off the platform when you get hit by doing... Automatic, cra automatic SDI down, which is like a crash cancel, but then doing a trajectory DI to the side, which is like a... So you like get hit to the side. Oh yeah. So you kind of get off the platform without any lag. And there's a bunch of text you can do. The game has changed since uh, since your time, let me tell you. <laughs> In what way? Oh, there's just way more DIs and stuff. We didn't have that back in the day. Yeah, I've got a lot of catching up to do. And that's not going to happen. Since you're not playing this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very hard to catch up when you're not doing the, uh, doing, actually playing the game. Wait, Mark didn't win last game, did he? Did he? I don't think he no, did. No, he didn't. No. Oh, right, the camera's in the wrong way. Yeah, that's, that's backwards. There we go. Much better. My mind is at ease. <laughs> I think it's actually double wrong now because <laughs> no, the fine, character fine. icons. Oh, shit, you're right. I can't win them all. Can't. Simply can't. Maybe it's F3? Yes, you're really good. Okay, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> but do, do you know? Do you know in the chat we've got electrical skateboard and electrical longboard? Nice. Two separate accounts? That's dope. <laughs> I wonder if they know each other. <laughs> I would wager that they do. They're not really. <laughs> The problem with moonwalk back air is it takes so long to get over there. It's like, <laughs> I am moonwalking now, and it takes like two seconds. <laughs> Sing a whole song. Exactly, and Samus is like preparing for it. He's and saying... Oh, it was my turn next. Yeah, <laughs> precisely. <laughs> Musky didn't end because he was late to Janos, and because he was scared. Oh, Mr. Nate. It's so hard to get the edge guard as Falcon there. Oh, Mark's jumping in the air. He's, he's airborne. <laughs> he's he's grabbed. Ground right now. Ground is another enemy to conquer. Ooh, what a shield. Oof, oof. Could've got something there for sure. Oh, there How? Nice. That shouldn't work. <laughs> but it does. Only against Ruben. And only if it's coming from Black Shadow. Swap all player info. Oh, my. That's a handy button to have. Oh my. 1-1. One, one. Oh yeah, Phantom is a tournament that's going to happen in March. It's going to be a lot of international interest, I'm told. Nothing confirmed yet. Or soft confirmed, I think there is. But right. it's for me to know and you to find out, Tom. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I hate when Mark overextends, and he does it all the time. He's got such flexible muscles. It's hard to do, right? I don't know how Flareads beat Kai. That's crazy to me. Do you think Kai is somewhat inconsistent with his performance? Maybe. Comes with the territory of being a uh, Falcon Man. I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's no guarantee that Samus is in that suit, because you don't hear any human sounds. Exactly. How do we know? Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. no Zero Suit Samus in this game. The thing is, Zero Suit Samus actually makes it more unbelievable that Samus is in that suit. That is true, yes. How can she be both? Uh-huh. Two places at once, fighting <laughs> herself. Yes. It's like that event match from Melee where you fight against Dark Link. Yeah. You remember that. It's your yeah. Link man. <laughs> the computer controlled audience is pretty pleased with Black Shadow's performance. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> They're eating it up. I wish Black Shadow just actually labbed his grab follow ups one time. <laughs> I just looked him up, found all the consents, and just did that. <laughs> Because right now he does like grab and just like picks a random aerial and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But like, you know, you gotta have certainty in this life sometimes. Forge order out of the chaos that is melee. Because right now all I'm seeing is chaos. But maybe he doesn't know that's a weakness. I mean, I'm sure he's an embracing chaos kind of guy, but <laughs> at the end of the day, you, you gotta have your little comfort zone, you know? When you yeah. get the grab... You can't be chaos all the time. You gotta be comfy. Oh, excuse me. Falco, uh, Kai and Falco uh, have a cozy, cozy space, but there's not enough chaos. Are you talking about Falco or Falco? I'm talking about uh, Kai and his Falco. Yeah, his cozy space is at home on Netplay. <laughs> so. I don't mind that up air because he forced the jump. Oh, he, he always gets the jump with that up air. Oh, that's a crazy knee. You gotta go a bit crazy when you're this, when you're this far behind. Throwing out the wacky knees. Press one chat if uh, Black Shadow has a mountain to climb. <laughs> See a lot of ones. <laughs> Where though? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to pr provide the illusion of. Uh, there we go. That we're live. 100 percent of voters voted one. Exactly. Uh, and Bang takes game three. We got a game four, the championship game. This is for Some all would say the, the most important game of the set. If you lose game four, you may not win the set. Yeah, I, I <laughs> imagine that's how it works. It's pretty hard to come back from that. Yeah. When that's you're not when say. you're not in the chair anymore or playing the game. Hello, Skeleduck. Are you going to go to the uh, Couch Warriors December Rambat Skeleduck? And if so, are you going to win? And if not, why not? Yeah, why, why, why wouldn't you win if you had the option? And also, are you going to play okay, against Sock? Yeah. So Luck is going to win. I think Easy. the main contenders are Sora, uh, Skelly Duck, Sock, number one, number three contender. Sock is number three contender. Well, he's, he's really coming into its own. Sock is uh, he's on the grind for a sponsorship, so he's very motivated right now. Ooh. Yeah, he's, uh, some would say, desperate for that sponsorship. Some would. <laughs> People say different things, depending on who you ask. That's what makes the world interesting, you yeah. know? Everyone has a sort of different opinion. Everyone says the same thing. It's very dull indeed. What's desperate to me is just, like, uh, being a go-getter to someone else. <laughs> Feisty. Feisty me there. Huge knee. Absolutely electrifying. <laughs> Black Shadow's pretty good on the stage, hey? Yeah. Do you agree? I do agree. Based on what? This one stock? Yeah, the one stock. That's all you need to know. You can't form an opinion that quickly. I think, he, I think I can. I'm one of the fastest in my league when it comes to forming opinions. Right. Not fastest than anything else. And jumping to conclusions. Yes. And never changing your mind. 
being steadfast in your uh, opinion. Stead steadfastly incorrect on a, on a number of things. <laughs> Takes dedication. Yeah, Stock lost his sponsorship, though. Uh, bit of drama. Don't really know whether I should talk about it on stream. But needless to say, they've parted ways. Oh, no. For good? For good. Maybe for bad. For good and for bad. For better or for worse. <laughs> what, what can you tell me about the matchup? <laughs> um, well, sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> um, Falcon wins, but Mark doesn't know his grab follow-ups very well. And also, he's not very good at the Digi trick. I think Ruben is the kind of player who can capitalize on the lack of decent Yeah, Ruben's grab the follow cheeser. You know, he'll cheese. Because you got it, as Samus. Melee's all about cheese at the end of the day. I used to think it was an honest game for honest men. I thought I told you not to mention food. So. True. <laughs> <laughs> He's stomping him! He's getting absolutely stomped! Stop stomping me, Ruben's saying. Black Shed is saying, no, I will stomp you. I'm gonna continue to stomp you, and I have no intention yeah. of stomping anytime soon. Exactly, I'll stomp, I'll stomp whatever I like. Bucko. I have to disrespect you. Ruben says, well, that's what you get, mate, when you stomp willy nilly. Sometimes you get the charge beam. All of this dialogue, by the way, is happening in their heads and not out loud. But they know what's they, they, they know what's happening. They yeah, see yeah. it in the way they act. I don't know why he went down there with that back air, but it worked. So that's why. <laughs> you can see the future. Mark keeps baiting out this forward air shield drop and uh, not punishing him. I just expect this bait to work, perhaps. I don't know whether he's trying to bait it or he's just trying to be safe, but Ruben keeps, like, doing a whiff. Sometimes when you have a whiff, you get punished. Sometimes you don't. It's not one of those, uh, dualities. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find that up there. He's really trying to backflip. <laughs> Something. He prefers to be upside down more, more often than not. <laughs> As much as possible, really. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Oh, it's over. Yeah, if you had the choice. Get absolutely missiled. Oh. Well played, Ruben. Ruben clutches it out, swags it out. Absolutely owned with uh, Black Shadow in that set. Mm -hmm. And that's understandable. Ruben, one of the premier exponents of ownage in Australia. <laughs> we have Florads. Major export. Exactly. It's number one. Uh, does Florads have a Twitter? He would, right? <laughs> he would. It sounds like the kind of guy. No, he definitely would. He does. Have you got a Twitter? Tell me you do, right? I do, yes. I, f I, I think... Am I following you? Maybe. I'm totally following you. I'll be, uh, I'd be a bit bummed am. if you weren't following me back. Right. I don't tweet that much, though. I know that Jacob has one. Yeah. sometimes he likes my tweets. <laughs> would it kill you to like my tweets once in a while, Tom? I like your <laughs> tweets, especially when uh, when they tell me how you're doing, because I, I care a lot about it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Basically, the like grandmother's relationship with Eddie, <laughs> the grandchildren's Twitter. Yes, you're very much like my grandma. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much our dynamic. Like, oh, Nick never contacts me, so I have to ask around, you know, family members, see how he's doing. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I, I always care. <laughs> I visit once every few years. Oh, is that often enough? See if he's still alive. Just Stay on the will. <laughs> really, really, uh, that's a minimum, absolute <laughs> minimum. Some might say not even the minimum for an emotionally stable relationship. I only got so much room in my monkey sphere, you know? Uh-huh. That's a, that's a pretty pretty shabby excuse. <laughs> it's true, dude. <laughs> I only got 100 people worth in my monkey sphere. Uh-huh. How many people do you have? 100. Fair. But yeah, exactly. I care about each individual monkey in that sphere. Exactly, but I'm saying I've got so many monkeys in my sphere. Do you reckon Flurides can win this? I think he's playing very one-dimensional, but uh, you know, maybe it's a, a two-dimensional dimension. game as well. Maybe if the dimension is forwards, then it could be good. Yeah. He's getting... Oh my. He's getting a little bit crashed. 
<laughs> yeah, I think Ruben is good. <laughs> I think he'll be right. Oh, Slowly doesn't know his follow-up. Oh, Slowly always used to win this back in the day, before the Metroid Prime Two. incident. <laughs> that's the greatest incident of... Oh, and his recovery is just not looking good right now. I think he, uh, he used all of his good melee juju earlier against Kaiser. He burned it early, went, went, went too large too soon. When you go big, sometimes you have to go home. I think that's how the saying goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on the uh, SA Nick t shirt for all the fans. Go big, then go home. That's my motto. Go home later. Go <laughs> big, yeah, exactly. As long as you're doing one of the two, then it's fine. Yes. You know, I'm, I'm uh, sad that Lemons wasn't here today. Because, um. Oh, d actually, did you guys know that Florets is stubble backwards? Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Even Tom knows that. I actually forgot. I don't know what. Why is his name? Why is his name? Uh, there's a secret to it. Yeah. There's, Come a, on, there's was. a trick to it. That's yeah. for sure. Is this a simple trick? <laughs> it's just yeah. There's no trick to it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Like Tim and Eric or something? No, that's just no. yeah. there's no trick to it. It's just a simple trick. Right. It would be simple. <laughs> I forget with you. It's always a simple Seinfeld. That's right. Because like I know quotes from other things, I just don't. They don't come out organically from me. Yeah, they're not it's ingrained weird. in your very yeah, being. Yeah, not carved. You know, if you if I were to die and you carved open my skull, you'd see that the like incisions written on my brain. Well, that missile was crazy, dude. Did you see it? It went all vertical, like. Upwards. So sometimes when you hit shields with projectiles, they deflect at weird angles. Uh huh. And with a missile, sometimes if you hit it just at like a, above horizontal, it'll look like a vertical missile, but it will go ah. horizontally, so it's just, <laughs> just weird. Oh, it doesn't make it to the platform. But that was such a high descent to go for that up tilt there. Now you know, j -Nuts. This is why you tune into a South Australian stream, to learn. Oh, good fan. I'm all taking notes. Is that it? I think you can just maybe roll up. That's it, that's bad. Yeah. Ruben had to use all of his bombs to get back there. And that's scary. Oh my. Oh, 70%. Actually an insane stop for Ruben. Demoralizing even. Do you think it's highlight real material? Mm. I don't know whether I go that far. <laughs> but, uh, Not easily impressed, though, are you? It was alright. <laughs> it was adequate. It was dominant, that's what it was. Shout out to Electrical Longboard and Electrical Skateboard in the chat. <laughs> Again. I really want them to start interacting. You think they're just I like, want to know the backstory here. Someone just plugged them both into the USB ports in the computer and somehow they've signed in. Maybe. Maybe it's like Kai's pet name for his like equipment. <laughs> just the stuff we have on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Banana and then I don't know about that one. I read out and I think, oh, maybe I could say that. And then uh, I realize that. Oh, absolutely needled. I love the animation and the sound of Sheik charging the needles because it's like uh, she can't find her keys. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Up there, no. Four down. Let's oh, yeah, well, do, the, do the job. Battle play. Oh, he didn't shoot the needles. And he got down tilted for his troubles. Saving that pocket change for a rainy day. Exactly. Oh, two. One needle. Right in your face. That's where you don't want needles. <laughs> it's exactly where I don't want needles. <laughs> needles in your arms, in your shoulders sometimes, in your thighs for some injections. Yeah, that's good, yeah. That's uh, good. I mean, depends what it is. If it's like air, then Yeah, that's if it's air, you probably bad. don't want that, yeah. That's unpleasant. I was watching, uh, I think it was like an Inspector Rex, and it was an assassination, and they injected like a hunk of air into the sky's veins and he died. Uh -huh. You can do that, right? Like, that'll kill you. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, yeah. it's nasty, your heart just stops. 
Do you know what's nice? Saline solution. Getting <laughs> the stuff they inject after they inject something real into your veins. Right. Or, or like a cannula. And what does that do? It's just like uh, to cleanse the tube of the cannula. Oh. So it's just like salt water, basically. Okay. Well, kind of. Like it's saline something. But, um... <laughs> Not just soft, after they, after you have like a cannula, and they like take your blood from the cannula. Every time they use the cannula, they flush it with saline. Yeah, we, well, we're not like limited to one school of education here. We're all over the place. No, exactly. We are world travelers. We're is, Renaissance men. Okay, yeah. We'll give you grounding in nearly any any career you want. But it feels good. It's kind of like I'm not a heroin addict, nor have I ever had heroin. But I can see the appeal of having like, a cold, icy liquid running through your veins. Yeah, especially on a hot day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially when you just had like blood flowing out of there, and you just get some nice, cool saline yeah. in there. It's like, oof, oh. get in there. I could go from heroin right now. I, couldn't we all? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only. Ooh. Gaming is my heroin. And yours, I, I assume. Yes, it is. It's uh, it's heroin is not, not as front of town. Front, not as front of by the government. Almost. Nearly, yeah. It's not, it's not far off. Yeah, the thing about recovering when you're turned away from the stage is you get really predictable because you can't grab the ledge. So everyone tries to do like a back air or a wave land and they're like, I'll trick him. Yeah. But it's like you have one trick. Yep. Yeah. You only have one place you can yeah, go now. Yeah, do it again, but uh, I kind of made it back. Ruben really tries to read these dash bags. Do you think Musket looks like Zell Goddess? Apparently, he looks like Zell Goddess in the background here. But with like brown hair. When Ruben's got his head over the back of Musket's hair, he looks like Zell Goddess. <laughs> Do you know Zell Goddess, the original Fox Shine player? No. A legend of the scene until he was unceremoniously. Uh, I don't know, kicked out for stealing stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, not Australia, like uh, American. Oh, no, no. Is that Shaky? Oh my, that's... We got Shaky and Tom Chataway in the building right now. At the same time. When's the last same time Shaky damn time, up? dude. That's crazy. That's insane to me. Unbelievable. You know what? I don't think it's that, that ridiculous, considering the... Uh, that Schmaltimate came out very recently. I think it's it's in, it reigniting the bug in yeah. many old flames. Crazy, we've got two of the most epic gamers in South Australian <laughs> history in the building of all time. right now. Yeah. That's insane. Who who in the chat remember Shaky? Press press uh press one if you remember Shaky. See a lot of ones. <laughs> Chat's flooding up with ones right now. Once, once again, I've got a bit of lag on the on seeing the ones in my eyes. They need, need to get my new they're coming. I know they're coming. They better <laughs> fucking come. All right, we post. need ones. I mean, you can you can often like you press can, you one can... now. <laughs> you can read moves coming from a mile off in, in melee. And the same thing applies to seeing ones coming in the chat. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Skeleton remembers Shaggy. I'll see. Maybe we can get the camera on Shaggy. Maybe if Shaggy just moved a bit further. To Al right, he'll be on camera. Shaky, for those who don't know, is one of the original top ranked South Australian players. He was the first ranked player I ever beat. And what, what, when was that? How many years ago? Was uh, back in the 2014 days. Wow. Yeah. It was a good time. He played Peach, and I played Moth, and I just kept hitting him. And shielding when he dash attacked. That so seems like a decent strategy against. And he was like, "Man, I can't beat you." And then he sat me on friendlies. And he played every character. He played like one stop, and then he was like, "No, I can't do it with this character." And then he quit, <laughs> and he picked a different character, like every single character. And then eventually, he ran out of characters. Yeah, that's what happens. When you play the character, not yourself. Yeah, don't play yourself. <laughs> this is the moral of that story. <laughs> Well, I guess I have to play Ruben, which is lame. He's, I can't be in with Mario, probably. But I will try. His name is Jordan. Jordan Wilson. For those, the ultimate gamer. He's got the biggest Sonic collection in the Southern Hemisphere, from memory. Or the biggest game collection in general. It's some crazy stat like that. Something impressive. 
Yeah, of course you've heard of it. It's a legend. Ask Miles about it. Miles knows. Miles stayed with Shaky like a couple of years ago at um, SXC. In Old Dinger or something, wherever Shaky lives. Out in the sticks. Slyrus is making a comeback right now. He's really starting to heat up. It took him a while. Yeah, it took him a minute. Like a kettle full of too much water. Could Florets finally be in a flow state? No. Only time will tell. Regardless. No, he's not. The answer to our question is no. Sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> Nick is quitting the scene forever after that shameful display. <laughs> No, I have no idea what's coming up next. Besides, obviously, Ruben. Oh, wait, it's Nick. <laughs> oh, no, I'm all alone. Never been alone before. I'm going to change this. And uh, walk through. What up? Nick, true his word, is playing as Mario. Because it'll be quote unquote funny if he wins. Probably be typing this scenario. Winners finals. as he hopes it to be. level now. Let's see what Ruben's going to change. Turn this around. Uh, I'm joined by Mark again. Perhaps explain this what uh, meta matchup. <laughs> the uh, most played matchup of all time. Sadness <laughs> uh, versus Mario. Right. So that's like one of the only times you'll ever see Mario get a kill in this matchup because <laughs> Mario can't kill anything. <laughs> and I'm not even joking when I say that. His <laughs> KO options are really limited. Yes. Um, uh, speaking to Nick and he asked, oh, who should I, who should I play in the final? Uh, and I didn't have an answer for him, so I'm going to play Mario because it'll be funny if I win. Because <laughs> he said, yeah, this is uh, inspired by the mindset, uh, the 2014 mindset, and claiming that you inspired him. So oh, right, yeah. He's, he's saying this is your fault, basically. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to hold you to that. A lot of things are my fault these days. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just learning to care less about it. I think you're just a convenient scapegoat I am. being uh, back here for the first time in like three odd years, yeah, four that, odd years. That also, uh, I, I just have one of those faces you can blame. Yeah. 
Or maybe Nick likes blaming him <laughs> that he can. That, that would also fit. But, uh... Yeah, this is close. It's, um... I actually thought Nick was losing for a second there, but it's oh, uh, Ruben with a high percent. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> how's, how's Mario edge guarding then? Uh, Mario's edge guarding, depending on the character, can actually be quite good. Uh, his back air is really good for throwing them off. Um, his cape, really good for gimping recoveries. I'm pretty sure he can actually cape Sam's up B and she can't grab the ledge. Right. Um, so let's see if he does it. The trick is getting him off the stage to begin with. Oh, huh? <laughs> the trick is getting him off the stage to begin with. Yeah, that is definitely <laughs> the difficult part. The sticking point. Um, pretty sure he can also cape a uh, tether recovery. So I want to see at least one of those in this set to make it make me happy inside. <laughs> uh, did you end up commentating my uh, game as well against Ruben? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Do you uh, have any uh, particular insights there? Or? Uh, if I if I did and I don't, uh, you wouldn't want to hear them. <laughs> okay. They could only That's very suspicious. That you say that <laughs> get, they get, they you get only... don't. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear them because they wouldn't they wouldn't help in any way. And if you took them to heart, that would only make you a worse player. Okay. Yeah. Okay. However, so it's self-deprecating. Uh, uh, Nick, self Nick had some advice for you, which was. Uh, you should be um, labbing your uh, grab follow-ups. Yeah, yes. I really do need to do that. Um, I feel like I knew what I was doing with grabs sort of intuitively back yeah. in the day, like maybe a year ago. Yeah. And I didn't play a Samus for ages. Right. And then I started playing a Samus again. I was like, why is nothing fucking comboing? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can actually destroy Samus combo-wise with a throw game. What am I watching, by the way? Why? <laughs> Is, is Nick listening to our commentary? <laughs> I'm sure they can hear us. Well, Occasionally maybe. they react, and it's very obvious that they're let's hearing what we're saying. Yeah, let's see if Nick's uh, labbed his uh, Samus his. grab follow-ups. Or maybe how he edge guards, because I can't edge guard Samus at all. So we are... I see you've got your notepad out. Are you scribbling down everything you're saying? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my mental. <laughs> Looks like Nick's going for the sort of full hop camping as well, which I'll admit is probably how you should be playing this matchup. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, Samus has a real floaty jump, so if you can get her into the air, it takes her a long time to get down. Oh. And she also has a difficult time uh, attacking when in the air from to hit someone below, except for downing, but that's slow to come out. Yes. So. Essentially, you want to bait Samus into going up into the air so that you can catch her out and then combo her from there with up airs. Um, easier said than done. Oh, I need to update this. Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah. Right, uh, did, did Nick take uh, the first game? Yes, he yeah. did. With his uh, that green was Mario. Mario. Yes. Uh, we're not going to update the characters because something tells me that Nick is just going to pick whatever he likes this grand finals. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't have even put Mario in. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, this is all grand time. finals, isn't it? <laughs> grand finals. G -g grand finals. Let me fix that up. There we go. Oh, it wasn't intentional. No, it was intentional. <laughs> it just wasn't. I, I forgot the G. You need the extra G. You need uh, three Gs. <laughs> I'm just slowly ruining uh, Kai's stream's reputation here. <laughs> it's okay. You've done quite a bit of uh, commentary today, haven't you? I have. Uh, I'm not very good at it. Jaynut says Nick lost game one. Were we not paying attention? Mm, yeah. Actually, I was paying attention. <laughs> okay. I just assumed that he won. Uh, hopefully, Jaynut is not trolling us. Jaynut wouldn't lie. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> I swear that you. I feel like I'm being Jonas falling off the chair, oh. laughing at us right now. Probably. He missed Legends up E last stop. Oh, that uh, sounds... A likely story. Yeah, yeah. Anyone could have made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it actually does sound legit. <laughs> but uh, Nick actually the got... The good lies always are. <laughs> Nick actually got quite a good combo off on uh, Ruben there. And unfortunately, I missed how he started. So... <laughs> That's kind of the important part. Oh, you don't want to grab the VOD later. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, that does not is. combo. Pretty sure. But you know what? Sometimes you get caught out like that. Uh, what's he doing? Okay. Inst up air. Yeah. So what do you like about Captain Falcon as a character? Oh, I like that he has to try his hardest to win. <laughs> like, like you do. Yeah. <laughs> you relate to it. Um, I, I feel like it's always... Like, when I lose to another Falcon, I feel like I've been thoroughly outplayed. Yeah. And I find playing against other people, they see it that way as well. Um, there's also just so much uh, variation in this combo game that you can throw in. That's not necessarily optimal 100% of the time, but you can be a very creative. <laughs> um, and have a damn good time, you know? And a lot of moments for hype that you can... Yeah. Uh, get set up, exactly whether true. it's through a combo or... A very just, uh, entertaining, uh, very entertaining to watch uh, you uh, dancing all over the place mm. with, uh, with your Captain Falcon. Yeah. Competent Captain Falcon is a joy to watch. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think just everyone by default goes for Captain Falcon in any matchup. Like, maybe not against, like, Pichu or something like that. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, the crowd's always on Falcon side. They always love a good Falcon, so it's uh, nice. Oh, I've done That's that a million fortunate. times. <laughs> uh, Feel, you feeling that pain right now? Yeah, it it hurts. Trans transcends monitors straight to your heart. Yeah, I could see from Nick's reaction. It was <laughs> exactly the same feeling at that moment. Shame and sadness. Uh, looks like Ruben's sort of beefing his. Uh, Combo game a bit. Oh, at least his ledge coverage. I mean, it did, didn't matter in the end. He got the kill, but he's missed a couple of opportunities. Okay. Oh, Nick. Oh, Nick, what are you doing? Pull on a black shadow. Was he going for a, was he going for a wave land there or something? Uh, yeah. I think he wanted to wave land back onto the ledge from reverse. But uh, there's a lot of uh, technical screw-ups you can make on this stage as Falcon as well. The ledge heights really don't favor him. Yeah. Well, they're constantly changing as well. Pardon? They're constantly changing as well, right? Yeah. And that, like, all of those different heights affect what aerials he can actually do. Uh, so... Yeah. It's have to track. And if you miss an aerial input, then you're probably going to get punished and killed. Three stocks. Good, Good job to Ruben. Quick one. Now it's 2-1 Ruben's way. What's going to happen next? Oh, straight, straight in. He's staying Falcon too. Wow. I think he's trying to prove a point here. It's never a good idea. If no. You <laughs> and that, oh, it's very hard that to prove a point space. and win. Though. What was that? It's sign? very hard to prove a point and win at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Often your emotions get in the way. Yes. But uh, I, I noticed a change already in how he's playing the neutral. He's being very safe with his nans and he's playing that dash game and. Getting a safe hit out. And let's see if he gets a knee off this. Oh, yeah, that would be good anyway. Yeah, looking a lot better. And I'm surprised that actually consistently works. I thought it didn't, but it shows what I know. Yeah, that looked, that looked good. Uh, what's up? Muscat building. Ah, oh, okay, check this out. Andy side B. Works that, out that up there for Captain, Captain Target. It really reaches high, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, stretchy legs. A lot of it also has to do with how high he can jump as well. Um, and double jumping really fast. Yeah. Taking quite the lead, actually. So, let's see if uh, we can recover a little bit here. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, oh well, yeah. Punish. Nick just noticed uh, to try and jump from the uh, small alcove next to the tree as Falcon. You auto land on this the platform from the uh, right under the platform, yeah. Oh. And it means you miss out on your aerial. It's uh, really dumb. But, uh, Is that Divot of a, of a nickname for Captain Falcon mains? You say Divot? Divot. Yeah, Divot in the ground. Oh. Yeah, it really is. 
end at 7.30 p.m. and it's now 9 o'clock, right? Yeah, but we <laughs> happen to have this place open till 12, I believe. So, it's a bit better than our regular evac uh, room. So, why Pokemon Stadium? Is it just a dope? Um, no, no. Uh, Pokemon Stadium is really good for Falcon because it gives him a lot of room to move around and uh, sometimes the, the hazards can actually be quite to his favour, uh, depending on the matchup. Like, uh, I probably wouldn't take Fox here, but you could. Um, it's also fairly player preference based. Um, I personally really dislike the stage, even when it's advantageous to the matchup. <laughs> but uh, someone like SUJ, for instance, he takes people here all the time. It's one of his favourite stages um, as a counterfeit. But uh, someone like Wizro. Instance, less likely than SJ, SJ to take uh, a player here. And Nick SDs. Now we're down to like one stock apiece. Ruben has a little bit of percent, so this could be a quick kill, or Nick could get gimped off stage very quickly. So it's still open game. Ooh, Ooh, this is how it starts. Ooh. Oh, very close. Some very dangerous attacks coming in. Yes. Oh, that follow up. Is this going to get through the back air wall? Nick looks like he's reaching a little bit for a strong move, but Ruben's aware. He can just sit there with missiles until Nick makes a mistake. Speak of the devil. Oh, oh, oh. Is this the mistake he needed? I think it is. That's it. That's All great. right, 2-2. Two, two. Nick drops the lead he had at the beginning of this game. Uh, that one there. Was it SA Nick, though? Uh, that is SA Nick. And then 3-1. Uh, no, because that's Nangs. And then you set this one to 2. But SA Nick is locked. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm, you know, I, I'm tired. I, uh, I, I've been in the, yeah, in the smash scene for, for a while. Thank you for <laughs> covering <laughs> my back there. Um, so I believe this is set two then. All right. Uh, so yeah, back to three one. So back to zero. And yeah, that makes sense because Nick has picked up the math again. Is this track set to the wall or not? What was that, sorry? Is this track set, the streaming setup? Or not? Um, I think what we would do is... I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't know how. Uh, grand Finals reset? I guess that is probably the closest we're going to get. All right. Um, <laughs> and it makes sense. So. All right, so Moth's coming out. Nick's not messing around anymore. I'm actually also going to update the characters because I feel like Nick's going to stay Moth like a good boy. <laughs> Instead of wasting everybody's time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and take it to set two. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm hungry, I haven't had dinner yet. Yeah, actually, I think. Mean, okay. <laughs> starving to death in the commentator's booth. Casually starving to death while we uh, commentate. It's <laughs> watched a lot, though. No one cares about how much we've eaten. Yeah, yeah we're going to tell everyone anyway. Exactly. They can deal with that. All right, so let's stock down each. Yeah. 126% the modern. And Nick has quite the advantage here holding stage. Yes. Well, Ruben so might be a little bit fucked here. Yes. Oh, oh, what, what, the what, down what, end, the forward smash. It definitely could have worked, but... So he, uh, he got a bit off, off the, the Sloperino there. Oh, man. 
having a hard time edge guarding yeah. that uh, that Ruben. Oh, he just drop through back air, but gets stuck on the platform. Now this is the sort of percent where Marth has a really difficult time trying to finish off the opponent. Like you can see, he's getting all that percent from the grab to try and kill him off the top. Yeah, and uh, there we go. And up air seals. A lot of lot of percent though. More than strictly. Yeah. Than so. So basically, that is how the matchup goes, at least if it's not an early kill from uh, the last side. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest, that they uh, ended up striking the battlefield. I would imagine Samus wouldn't have this stage as his first pick. Hmm. Uh, they could have just gentlemen here. <laughs> Actually, could have just gentlemen. Oh, that nair. That nair, though. Yeah. Steel boot. Super, super steely. <laughs> oh, catches the uh, forward air. Nasty. The, uh, Forward air. For that matter. Oh, oh with the tether. And this is why uh, I would imagine this is my first pick stage for Samus. Yeah. yeah. I know all too well from my link meanings. Yes, yes, yeah. you would feel the pain when you nail that little, little sliverish gem on the side there. Yeah. It's the elusive ledge. <laughs> I can never judge it because the camera's jumping all over the place as well. Yeah, it does take yeah. a bit of uh, adjusting to what the camera's doing at any given moment. And he's got not quite a percent on Ruben here. It's going to be a bit difficult for Ruben to take this game back. But I'd like to see him do it. It would be nice if Ruben won this set after Nick went full Mario on us. I would, uh, <laughs> the the Schroden proud would be uh, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, yes! I just, I just love bomb nair combos from Samus. <laughs> I don't know why. Tasty. They're very tasty. Oh, that's uh, oh, oh, wow. They didn't do it. Yeah, what the? What happened there? Was it just on the sweet spot? Uh, that wasn't a sweet spotted one, um, which is probably why. Like, I'm sure, if it was sweet spotted, it would have killed, but. Yeah, that was. Even so. Even so. And that was sad. Oh, oh smart God. Move. And now, Ruben is at that magical never mind percent. <laughs> <laughs> Game over percent. And that's uh, game one in the Grand Finals reset to SA News. And it looks like they're going straight to FOD. Not surprising. Get the stage is so good for Samus. Get some tranquility going. Yeah, no, I, like, as aesthetic wise, this is one of my favorite stages. Competitive, sort of play wise, I despise the stage. <laughs> and I'm sure it has to do with being a Captain Falcon man. Ooh, going for the down air, but a little bit off. Yeah, uh, a bit too eager with his dash attacks. I've seen it a few times in the next quarter now. Dash attacking. To Nick never misses an opportunity to punish those. Yeah, no, that's uh, absolutely right. So what was the, what was what do you think was the play there with the side B of Mark? So at certain percents, especially on floaty characters, um, side B combos into up tilt, oh, and okay. it basically is Mark's way of getting a kill on a floaty if it's not possible off of the throw. Um, so it's uh, fairly reliable, and if you can get it off, then it saves you a lot of off-stage you know, and ledge guarding.
played any melee today? No, I mean, I only just came here instead of come daddy. Is this your job? <laughs> I'm not being Did Forex hire you to come here? <laughs> okay, uh, are you a... Uh... Oh, I only... Oh, I, nice well, combo. you know when I arrived, I was well after the tournament started. Yeah, but, um, you know, there's... You could have played some friends. Yeah, I suppose. But, uh, I, don't know, I, I guess you just got recruited too quickly. Yeah, oh, I wasn't really in the middle anyway. Like, uh, more interested in seeing how the scene's going. Oh, yeah, like nice the social player. aspect, you know, I want to see everyone's doing. Yeah. Uh, before I get utterly destroyed or whatever, like, attempt. Well, there's been a lot of new players that have turned up in the scene, so show them what for with your uh, old school <laughs> skills. Like, it's going to please Link. Like, I try. Yeah, but, you know, especially in NTSC, now you have that semi spike. Oh, that's true. And uh, Nick's taking quite the lead. This game, and this is Ruben's counterfeit, so. Ruben doesn't want to lose this, so he's got an uphill battle to try and take this grand final. Killer shape like a mob. Ooh, I don't think he wanted that. Nick is making work out of those down tilts. <laughs> Reached right after the start. Wasn't done with him, brought him straight back in. Yeah. <laughs> Come back here. Like, just one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> got an up tilt for you. Here comes the juggles. Yeah, especially uh Silas does not have her tank this time. Oh, oh this is the yeah. I actually don't know if he missed the tether or if he had already used it in the air. Oh. You can only use the tether once yeah. before, if you try and air dodge and use it again before landing, um, you can't do it. It wasn't so the air for a very feet. long time, so yeah. it's very possible. That's uh, my thoughts. Oh, straight back in. And yeah, straight back in. Not even time to update the score. <laughs> but, uh, this could be the grand finals final game for Ruben. He does not pull something out here. Pull something out of whatever pockets that Samus uh, suit has. Yes, pockets. The pockets on Samus' suit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't I think mean, there are any, uh, so it, that, it's that, maybe that, a foregone conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Which is also screwed at the pockets on the right side, because obviously you can't use your hand with that cannon. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the magic trying to fish out your keys, actually, trying yeah. to, like, get... get <laughs> home at night and open the front door. Reaching across yourself with your left hand, just trying to... Yeah. Uh, have you ever had that? Where like, you've got something in your left hand, but something's in your left pockets, you have to use your right hand, and yeah, it's just like the most I'm, awkward thing ever? Uh, actually, are you left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, because I'm like the opposite hand for that problem. <laughs> right. Because uh, what you were saying to oh, say, I was yeah, like, I'll just um, use my left hand. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah, I... I <laughs> I hold my phone in my left hand, weirdly. Like, I use my... my oh, really? Yeah, 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 that is actually not the norm. For some reason, my left, my left thumb is really dexterous. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Is there something you're not telling us here? Uh, no. <laughs> I think I, like, everything I want to tell you is uh, as he's out in the open now. Yeah. Same because I, I play, um, play guitar, but I'm right-handed. Oh, so you play, play guitar, guitar as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, as you know, I just acoustic. Uh, uh, as you know, if, the, if you're right hand and you play right hand guitar, your left thumb is literally nothing. Yeah. It's just yeah. sitting on the back of the fretboard, idle. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's a shame. Like, if I can bring it up over the top and do some work. Ah, uh, your hand's not yeah. large enough. Oh, no, my hands. Mine aren't. My hands like, can stretch easy, but um, my thumb can't get over the top of. Uh, my guitar, right. so I can't yeah. grab the. Uh, I just got like a really skinny fretboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play a violin. <laughs> <laughs> Change instruments at time. That would work. Yeah, so Ruben's got the advantage here. Yeah, actually. Back to the game. So if Ruben was gonna do it, he has to do it this game. So he picked a good time to get the advantage. The magic up. <laughs> the last possible instant. Yeah. I would have picked the uh, previous game, but uh, that's just me. Uh, maybe he just likes to keep everyone in suspense. Yes. Yeah. Make it's it more exciting grand finals. <laughs> It's very considerate of it. Yes. But uh, it's getting late and we haven't had dinner, as I mentioned. I was trying to check my watch my wrist <laughs> and does, does uh, not, not wearing it. <laughs> just have it drawn on in the marker. Yeah, man. It's the same time. Doesn't uh, Homer do that? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Simpsons episode. Yeah. Where he does, uh, 
Well, you can tell he's got to look at his watch when he has a watch, because normally he doesn't. Like, yeah. You see him in the scene, it's one of those like, when, when are they going to work that in? Just for continuity, yeah, he has to. He has to be there the whole time. Yeah. So Samus just characteristically difficult to edge guard with Moth. Um, with any character, to be honest. Um, just that floaty, all that, all the recovery she options. She has so many recovery options, and it is somewhat dangerous to get hit by up B. Um, it's, it's, wow. it's just difficult to edge guard in general. Yeah. Um, she's got all those recoveries, and because she's floaty, she's got plenty of time to decide which one. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And it doesn't even matter if you're sitting there watching her. Yeah. Because uh, it's only when she gets close to the ledge that she really yeah. makes a hard decision. Whereas if you're Fox, you've got to have that muscle memory down. You've already got to, your muscle's got to know what mm. you're gonna, what your options are, exactly. what you're gonna use before you even do, know what's going on. And uh, Max has the advantage, and at high percent too. So uh, this is a good position from the BM. And to be quite honest, Nyx only played Marth in this game. So if Ruby can pull this off, then I would be very happy. Ooh, that was close. Slipped in under there. Oh, and see, that was the side. Be uh, up to a combo. Yeah, I was talking about earlier. Setting that up. Nice. Oh, catches him off the ledge. This, uh, this could be. This could be the, uh, the comeback. Oh, it is. And a slick take of the ledge brings it to one two. Still next way, but we'll see what Nangs can do. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there for a brief moment. Just like, Does the club still go to KFC afterwards? What's the oh, I totally need to go to KFC. Um, <laughs> I think so. For the past couple of times, I haven't because I happened to leave EVAC at a time where I could catch my train uh, okay. instantly. Yeah. But I'm feeling KFC tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's old. if it's still open. I don't think it oh, really? necessarily it's been a long time. Like... Oh, yeah. So KFC it... is weird and they're like... They go against the grain of every other fast food place. Yeah. Like close at 9.30 sometimes. So silly. Ooh. Remember back in the olden days? I used to old pile into my car after evac. Oh. And then I, I struggled to find a parking space and we go to the old garage. Yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. That was so long ago. I can't do that anymore. I've got like, one person on the back of my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> People are funny about accepting a ride in a motorcycle. Must be the increased threat of death. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Something to do with it. could be it. I know I'm terrified of cars even. Yeah. You know? It took me forever to get my peas. Right. Because it was uh, just this idea of, you know, you get in the car and I have this premonition, I'm just going to screw something up and cause an accident. Yeah, so. I get those all the time. Like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, your imagination runs away with you. They're like, uh, you know, if that truck just swerved into the into my lane now, I'd be dead. Yeah, they call yeah. that a uh, call of the void. Call of the void. Yeah. yeah. So you do know yeah. that as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, there's this cliff. One step and it's over. Yeah. I even have it here at Evac um, when we we're on the top floor for Big Cheese. Oh, the balcony. Uh, yeah, there was like this balcony and it was so far down from the top. And you're just looking, going, that's. Yeah. Imagine, like, not like that you would actually do it, but you yeah. think, like, what if I fell off yeah. this? And it's... What would that be like for me? How would that end? Yeah. I also think, uh, like, a lower key level, uh, like, uh, I just imagine myself dropping my phone over as well. Yeah. <laughs> and then just like, no! Like, even though you know we're near the edge, it's like, whoa, you fumble the juggler like, yeah. across, across to, to the edge and then straight down. That's exactly it. No one wants to lose their phone. All right, so uh, Nick's got the side of mine here. Yeah, this is... Probably gonna take a while to edge guard Samus here. <laughs> as Samus, is tradition. Uh, Samus, when recovering from the launch, uh, punches into Google Maps, back <laughs> the stage, navigates back on. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but just Nick a couple of that out. down tilt in the face. Alright, uh, Ruben's got his work cut out for him. Yeah, cut out by a Mars shaped sword. And this was Nick's counterpick stage, so I'm sure he's going to use it to the most potential. Like, how does Samus get down without platforms? You know? 
for a... Get her in the air and press that up on the seat. I suppose if you could ask politely. Yes, really the only option. please let me down, yes. sir. Ooh, oh, missed the up tilt input. What's the, uh, how tight is the, uh, how, how tight is the window? Uh, it's a bit weird with side B, um, because there's no, as far as I'm, I'm aware, you can't cancel the animation with a tilt very easy. Oh, sorry, nice, nice That's attack. a really nice tech there. Yeah. That's a, a relatively new uh, teching technique that people have used, started to use lately. On the ledge. Um, see, when he teched, he sort of rolled in the same place. Yeah. That's uh, a very specific uh, DI and C stick uh, placement. Right, okay. Uh, so and so you can get it consistently depending on the move and uh, your position. And uh, you won't go anywhere. You just tech roll in and stay in place. Cool. So it really helps when you're very high percent and you know that no matter how you DI, you're just going to lose your stock. May as well go for the answer tech. They're playing fairly conservatively, but Nick actually gets a fair to close yeah. out Ruben's stock. And if Ruben can't pull this off, this is his last stock. This is the end. Potentially. Ooh. Nick did not look happy in the player cam about that one. <laughs> Take the freeze frame of the VOD later. <laughs> oh, gets a recovery though. How many fares can you get? Yeah, just <laughs> over and over. Relentless pummeling. Ruben could definitely do this. Oh, he needs to just close out this stock without taking too much more damage. That could be good. That's the stock, and that's it. Okay. All right, let's go, Ruben. Ruben's got to be feeling the pressure now. Yep. Absolutely. He doesn't have any second chances. Oh, oh <laughs> very anticlimactic finish. <laughs> yes. uh, shouldn't have said uh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that that's, was grand finals. That's the tournament to Nick. Yeah. So, looks like Nick takes this first place. Oh God, grand I'm finals I'm reset. Out. Three one. I was indulging a little stretch there. Uh, just well done, Nick. The camera. Uh, just flexing. Well done, Nick. And would you, Nick Simulink, like to come and sit and talk about your grand finals experience? <laughs> Everyone wants to. Oh, okay. In that case. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's time to say goodnight, Kyle's everyone. Pack Thanks up. for joining so, us on this thank uh, you very mega much. tournament. Yes. And thank you for joining us as our guest star commentator. It's my pleasure. Tom Chataway. My pleasure. Any any time, provided I have time. <laughs> <laughs> That I very ambiguous don't. statement. But <laughs> I just uh, said nothing at all. Yeah. Nothing at all. So nothing it took forever to say nothing. That's all right. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you at the next tournament on Sunday. Which Sunday. Which will be uh, the last revival of SA tournament for the year. So, goodness, again. Goodness me, I don't even know about that. Ah, well, now you do. Uh, and yeah. be looking forward to seeing you there, Tom. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> Details I'm not kidding. Like I don't know. <laughs> Details to come. Uh, all right. Watch out for the pamphlet in your letterbox. Yes. I hope I get delivered mail like that. <laughs> That'd be really convenient. All right. Thank you, everyone. How do you end the stream? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, you can follow my Twitter at KB Kaiser for when we go live next, and you can also follow at SA Smash Central on Twitter. And that's where we post all of our tournaments and our streams. Um, my name is Kaiser. I host this stream. Um, and best way to support is to follow and subscribe to this and on YouTube. I'm also going to be working through um, the Big Cheese VODs very soon, very soon on SA Smash TV YouTube. It's, in, it's on your screen right now. It's up in the, the doobly up there. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to be heading off now, packing up, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. I'm going to send y'all somewhere else. To host, to host, what do you mean, hello, what, what are you doing, okay, yeah, I'm going to find someone for you guys to go to, okay.
But yeah, that's going to be it for the stream. Uh, Moon's Kaiser, and I'm signing off. Peace.